many stories, stories do you have for this week? What kind of fun, fun stories do so I have? So as I server mute JR. <laughs> Chris, you've given me too much power. Um, as Kanye said, no one man should have all this power. Uh, I really thought you were about to say with great power comes great responsibility. I no, I actually, gonna I actually quoted earlier. Like, oh, yeah. I, I thought what you were going to say Kanye is, Spider-Man as Kanye said, Harriet <laughs> Tubman did not free the Yeah, I thought he was going <laughs> to say that too. I really uh, thought he was going to say I that. Missed, I missed the opportunity. You did. <laughs> Okay, so, oh as we left off the last session, you guys had just turned in the, uh, you had just gotten back to <laughs> the city of Nicodronus from your recent escapade of murdering bandits and monsters. You, cat, you talked to the captain, Captain Zantoro, who asked you to undertake this for him, uh, to, to do this quest for him. Um... In exchange, he paid you money. He gave you the payment for the 20 bandits you slayed. And tried to compensate you for the monster you found along the way, though, as some of your group thought, he might not have paid you enough. Uh, he said he would try and get some more money put together, but there's only so much he can do as one of many captain of city guards in this city. Um, did he send you on his way, or did we cut off right before that. Uh, We're gonna I feel like either that. one. I don't think. I think... We cut off in his room. Okay, so as we fade back into this story, the captain's going to start with, well, thank you for this worrying news. Um, I will definitely need to sleep on this information and talk to my superiors as it is late at night. Um, if you wish to keep working, I can see what I can do. I will probably not have any news on more payment for you or where for you to start in this next part of the investigation until probably after lunch tomorrow. I will need to talk to my superiors. Um, let me turn that music down a sec. One. I will try and get more compensation for you. I agree that these monsters are more than what I sent you out there for. Uh, do you have what any happens in if we have to face monsters? Nope. Shut up. I don't think Exodus how to play basketball. <laughs> <laughs> if anybody in this group knew how to play basketball, it'd be Exa. Um, not all of them. Not the one like who is basically Muggsy ball? Bogues in this situation. We're way too short to play basketball. There's no okay, hoops on that. Was the reference seat. to Muggsy Bogues? He's like five foot two, and you're like three foot nothing. So. Right, but compared to everyone else, on the Muggsy Bugs of the group. And he was one of the Monstars, thank you. If you will, he's, the one, he's the one that everyone always forgets. If you will please I, meet me back here tomorrow late afternoon, I will have more money and possibly direction for you. Until then... Excuse me, sir, we're talking about Space Jam. <laughs> uh, mm -hmm. Guards, can you take this yellow tiefling away? <laughs> no, no! <laughs> we'll never catch me alive! Adding you're a, you're, you're a wizard, you have four hit points. You you're cast just, You'll that's catch why me you'll never take him alive. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> never take yeah him alive. exactly. I didn't say a wrong thing. <laughs> uh, do any of you have questions before we go? Where's Shitter? Uh, wherever you're staying. Oh! Oh! Got jokes, huh? <laughs> uh, so, a little refresher. Uh, you guys did find out. I forgot this in my beginning part because I focused on so much of later of the session than my intro. Uh, you did find out that the group, the person who had betrayed the city, was not alone. There are another four people in this city who are betraying its citizens to local bandits and other things outside of it. That is the news you brought back to the captain of the guard. He is now asking if you would continue helping him search for these people, but mainly to come back tomorrow, and he'll see if you guys even can do it, and he will have more money for you tomorrow. So would you say that we have four people in this town that are deceivers? Oh my gosh, tell us. <laughs> Jesus. Okay, Jake, stop, um, stop rubbing your forehead. Let's go. Considering that sometimes the number of people in our party changes if someone's a chili or something, 
we could represent the number of people we have as a variable, so we might be able uh, to call ourselves Deceiver X. Wow. Uh, I knew where it was going, and it's still <laughs> it's uh, For any of you who don't know, that is my gamer tag on everything. Gamers, rise up. Yes, um, <laughs> yes, you could call them Deceivers. For fuck's sakes. Okay, so we have a bunch of Deceivers in town. All right. Yep. Yes, you do. Can does that it, be our group name? Does it hurt, Jake? <laughs> kind of. A little bit, I'm not going to lie. I'm GL. It hurt to make that joke. I hope it did. There was way too much setup and not enough payoff. It, no, oh, there wasn't. Okay. I mean, I definitely have been rubbing my eyes for like the last 30 seconds now. But Oh, yeah. I, I heard it. <sighs> okay. Um, so... The guards escort you out of the building. It is currently, I believe we said, like, by the time he got there, 11.30 at night. So we'll call it midnight after that entire conversation happened. You guys do not have a hotel room anymore. Oh, dang. Because, you know, <laughs> it's been a week and a half since you've been in town. So... As much as I, Guillermo can just cast Magnificent Mansion, but that's the other campaign. <laughs> <laughs> yes, your Go level on, four character out knows here. Magnificent Mansion. Yes, let me pull out the- wait, let me look at my spell book. Let me oh. whip out the 7th level spell. Let me look, whip out my one seventh level spell with my one seventh level spell slot. Um... Yeah... Dang. It's midnight, so all the stores are closed? Stores are definitely closed, but you do- you know you don't have to be back here until like 1 or 2 p.m. tomorrow. So, you can go shopping in the morning. Uh, so I guess we should just get rooms real quick. And the nearest inn would probably be about like five or six minutes, five to ten minutes away. Like, you are in a well populated area, though it's probably a more expensive hotel because you're next to like the cat, the local headquarters for the city guard. I mean, we just did just get paid. You did. So, who's covering rooms for tonight? Technically, you ha have you handed out the money yet, Sol? Oh, yeah, I do that. Well, everyone already put it in like that, right? Yeah, I believe so. Why am I using my character voice? Everyone put it in like that, right? <laughs> yeah, I think we do eat it up last game. Yeah. I think so, yeah. Yeah, then we're all good. I mean, so... no, we didn't divvy it up. Well, I divvy it up. <laughs> money, um, money, money. So the nearest, to the nearest inn you can stay at is about five to ten minutes away. You guys get there with no trouble. Um... You are greeted by a very tired-looking human male who... the the floor it's Jake. Of the, it's yes, actually it's me. Jake. It's me. It's my, me incarnate. It's okay. um, uh, I'm guessing you'd like a room? We don't have... We have three rooms available, so... Uh, not a... Sounds <laughs> what? <laughs> not a... Um, sounds good. Some of us can buddy up. Uh, is there anything against just sleeping in the tavern hall? Is there a tavern hall? <laughs> I, yeah, there's a there's like a place where they'd serve breakfast. You you can definitely sleep out here, but uh, I mean, give me three copper for a pillow and a blanket, and you can have a corner. It is. So you guys sleep sitting up anyway. <laughs> he sleeps sitting up. Uh, yeah. Pick a corner. I'll try and make sure nobody takes your shit while you're sleeping. Nah, I got shit taken away. No more. So you go and find a corner. There's three rooms and four of you. What are the other four of you doing? I'd like a room. <laughs> but each room will be four silver. Okay. I flick over four yeah. silver. How are we like splitting the rooms? Uh, Wait, who's getting their own room? I'll pay for my own room. Uh, I'll pay for my own room. So Unless that... someone wants to split it with me. I'm not. So I'm now, not... four silver for your own room. That means there's one room left, and Exa and Mistress are the two that haven't <laughs> paid up yet. Classic. <laughs> Classic. Uh, yes, I'll... <laughs> I'll take my own room. Mr. Fuckle. <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> what? 
She can sleep as I'm. No, I just. No, I was going to. <laughs> I was going to offer exit for exit to draw me like one of his French girls. But... No, I'm just going to pat the chair at the table next to me. What? I'm going to pat the chair at the table next to me, and I'm going to tell you to hoof it on over here. Is that That's a, racist. Is, yeah. Yes, yeah, that is a joke. That's racist as shit. I'm joking. I do not actually care. You can sleep in the same room. Oh, we oui, oui, very <laughs> Yeah. Okay. <laughs> I was like, how are you even doing a French accent right now? I can't, I can't do it. I can't. Wait, wait. Oh, oui, oui. Suspend my disbelief. Is it okay? You may stay in the same room if you wish. I'll sleep on the same floor. I... Is, is there not two beds in the room? No, these are, are only single bed? beds. These, they were decent sized beds, but these are all single are beds. Are they large enough for two people? I just... Yes, they are large enough for two people, especially <laughs> both of you being average size. Okay, uh, that's fine. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so it's officially <laughs> canon. Exa and Mistress are sharing a bed. <laughs> you guys haven't yeah, yet I mean, discovered yes. the fact that Exa doesn't know what sex is? <laughs> <laughs> so I'm there's... pretty sure we've discovered. <laughs> um, um, so, uh, all of them, you are lucky. You had a 75% chance somebody was going to try and steal your shit, I think and I still rolled above X it. I think X is the one that's lucky. Hey, are you, is Mistress going to try and teach X what no! sex is? <laughs> no! That would be so out of character. That'd be actually the wackiest thing I've hey, ever heard. Hey, she could have a personality flaw that she's just addicted to sex. She's already had one character like that. Wouldn't that be that. so wacky? Uh, no, that her was is Thea. Mistress. That was Thea, okay? Who could have been the considered bard? a mistress. To some, yes. <laughs> Sorry, to most, yes. <laughs> to most. Um, so, your guys' night goes without incident. All of them, you wake up to people getting food all around you. There's somebody sitting across from you at a table who just looks like he probably is some dock worker that cr ended up having to crash here overnight, hung over, eating some, like, greasy-ass bacon, some grits. Does he have a drink in front of him? Uh, yes. You cannot tell if it's alcoholic or not, but... <laughs> Doesn't matter. Thank you for the follow. Thank you for the follow, Pint. Oh, you want to drink it and walk up to the bar? Yeah. That cut is so cute. Uh, he just gives you a weird look. I'll bring him back another along with one for me. So, however much that is. Well, Dax King, let me tell you. Uh, you can be either of those things. There's both still jobs. Yeah, those uh, are... innkeeper is easier. Um, blacksmith takes a lot of work. Innkeeper just takes capital. I thought um, you were talking about in D and D. I was like, yeah. And then I was like, wait, no, IRL. Those are both still jobs. No, I mean those are both jobs in the real world. One takes a lot of work, and the other just takes enough money to buy you, an inn. You can but... also be both of those in D and D. Yes. Artisan background for either, technically. Um. One second. Um, so yeah, you take the drink, you walk up to the bar, uh, it was just, uh, water in his mug. For you, all of them. Sad. And then you get I'll, cholera, I'll bring... you weren't drinking, I'll... sad. You're true, yeah, that's right. Hey, uh, I'm gonna bring back a water for him, and something alcoholic for myself, please. Okay. Uh, Pint, this is a really fun one to DM, I suggest... Doing one of the advent the adventure campaigns in the beginning, we started with the uh, one on the coast. I forget its official name. Uh, it's a really good way to get into it, and there's just so much lore to read. So be prepared because your party could really go anywhere and not do what you're planning, and you got to adapt. But it's in all honesty, there's so much written that it's easy to adapt. We also, if you want to learn more about what we've done, we do have a YouTube channel where we posted the vods of our wild mount so far. It's just Critter Quit D&D. &D. I believe the link's below, right? Yeah. Uh, it should be below. Yes. Yeah, the link is below. It's also been checked. Yeah, so if you want to check out <laughs> that, right there. It's, this is session nine. Yeah. So it's just us, you know, playing through this setting. I love it. It's great. Um, Back to the thing. Oladim, you cost you, th what? how much 
quality of alcohol are you getting this early in the morning? Like grog or like a decent ale? Whatever's garbage. Uh, two copper. You get yourself that. The water will be pretty much negligible when you pay the two copper for that. But they give you another water for him and you get yourself a shitty, disgusting-ass alcoholic beer. Mm. That's nice. Um... Uh, <laughs> Sorry. Oh, I need to get this out of the way. Well, Exa and Mistress wake up. Yeah. Uh, so that's what all of them does. God, glad I got that out of the way. Yeah. It was me last night. Yeah, seriously. Um. Yeah. Soul, you wake up alone in your room. The. Did you never resummon Squish? So you are waking up without Squish. True, I don't have the stuff. That's what I was gonna do. But it was late. Nowhere was open. Pop, pop, pop. I'll do it now. Uh, it is a little early. You guys went to bed at probably about 1, so it's probably about 9 a.m. by the time you guys rested. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Um, I wake up. Oh, no. No, good to go. What are you saying? Uh, I would like to go out and find like an just a apothecary or something to get some gosh darn incense uh 50 gold piece mm, that seems like a lot uh so you do know where that slight magic shop is the one that sell the sold yeah. the potions would also sell materials for this so it's easy for you to find the uh old old lady is still there and welcomes you Hello. I would like to buy... Let's see my gold pieces. Oh, I'll actually use some of my silver. It's a hundred silver to one gold piece, right? Uh, How does that... Yeah, ten, hundred ten to, silver. No, ten, ten it's silver. ten to one. That's it going Ten on. to one. Except That's Electrum, right. but I will never give you guys Electrum because fuck that currency. Yeah, it doesn't make sense. Um... I'll take... I don't know if anyone has ever used Electrum um, in D&D. I've never met a single GM who has used Electrum. Nope. Even when it I comes know, up well, on, ben, like, Generator I I Blue. Well, Ben, next week, we'll see what happens. Oh, God, don't, please don't. Nah. I hate converting Electrum. <laughs> We're all against you now, Chris. Um, I'll take... Hmm, th 300... No, 330, sorry. 50. Mm. I, guys, I look around and I'm, <laughs> I just went <laughs> before anyone else. Uh, I'll take, yeah, 30 gold worth of incense. Okay. She hands over the incense for you to be able to summon Squish back. Yay. Um, also, can I, do you have a pearl? Uh, as a uh, spellcasting focus? Yes. Not focus. Um, uh, component. Uh, so yeah, focus. How, m how much value? Uh, the hundo? A hundo, yes. Uh, let me check my back room. And she will go, and about five minutes later, we'll come out with a small box, and as she opens it, there is a pearl that is worth around what you're asking. Alright. I'll also take that. Okay. So 130 gold from you. Mm-hmm. But nice. you now have a pearl for identify and three summons uh, of squish. Is it for identify? I'm guessing that's what it was for. Mistress, oh. when you wake up, there are three cats on you. Oh, oh, I love it. But I guess I would need that. What's the spell for? It's for uh, uh, Caleb, pearl to forehead. Fortune's favor. Ah, uh, is it? It's not consumed though, right? It is consumed. Oh, I think cool. he nerfed. Like he nerfed it because it's very good. Yeah. So you'll need one for identify. I didn't think to ask that last time, but you also need one for that spell. Yeah. Uh, well, so... <laughs> I'm broke now, so. So I wake up and apparently there's cats on me. How there's are there three cats blocked up from all look like, Um. A mini version of Mistress's Panther form, because X has never seen a real cat. That's true. 
Oh, you've probably seen some real cats while walking around this port city. That's you've seen true. you've seen Mistress's cat form. You've seen Mistress's cat form. Oh yeah, okay. Then they look like uh, exact copies of Mistress's cat form. This is adorable. Uh, Dax, squish <laughs> is. Use the internet. <laughs> uh, uh, he is a phalli- fire salamander. Yeah, it's uh, my familiar. So yeah, there we go. Bow, bow. Um, but you guys all have the morning. If you would like to get uh food here, it will be three silver for whatever you decide to get for breakfast. So if you get breakfast in the inn, just take that out of your sheet. Going on honor system. I uh, walk out to the dining hall with three cats in my arms. <laughs> uh, all of him living uh, life. As you sit back down with your beer, you see Mistress come out of her room with holding three cats. With holding three cats. And the possibility that Exa probably drew Mistress in her sleep. <laughs> oh. Dun, 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 dun. All right. So what are you guys doing? Exa. You guys have the morning. Exa. Yes. <laughs> Baguette, Baguette. Baguette, wee oui, wee. Oui. How long can I keep name? these? Uh, one hour. Hmm. Okay. I guess you can keep them indefinitely, um, as long as I keep short resting. <laughs> <laughs> Warlock, baby. That is, that is, that is a thing you can do. Warlock with the, uh, what? Conjure, yeah. Block of familiar, Block baby. <laughs> baby! Okay. The um, best spell. So what are you guys doing? Four, four of you are in the bar. As you all sit and have breakfast, you do notice that Val does not come down from his room. Dangy, dang. I go up and check after I come back and summon my squishy boy. Uh, One second. The cat. The cat on stream. Oh, yeah, whenever I'm typing. Yeah. <laughs> if you follow, sub, gift bits, anything, it does things. Cowfolk and kitties. I swear that said cowfolk and titties. Yeah, that's <laughs> not, I'm not reading kitties at first. Um, <laughs> as you go up, so you went down, had breakfast, went back up, summoned Squish, so it's probably about 10 a.m. by the time you look for yeah. Val. Yeah, of course. Yeah, we're the nasty ones, Sphinx. We play with you on Tuesday. That sounded wrong. We play games with you on Tuesday night. We know how bad you are. That didn't sound much better. I'm not going to lie. Yeah. We play games with you. Okay, so as you you go to search. I should play. As you go to search his room, uh, you leave your room and you're like, oh, Val's still not here. And you go to look in his room. And as you're like trying the door, uh, you like peer over and Val like comes in the uh, door to the bar, into the inn. Weird. Hi, Val. Oh, why were you not in your room? I had some business to attend to. That's fair. We're not his dad. I I have kitties. (laughs) What? (laughs) You're his dad? Yeah. (laughs) Oh my gosh! That's the secret character. That's the secret character. Oh, that's the yeah, secret that's character. A... oh my gosh! That actually, Val's dead. It's a good time Val! to be dead. Oh, I have kitties. Kitties. Uh... I'll hold them up. You them. see her holding three miniature versions of her cat form. Or Did I try and take one? Okay. Like, Don't hurt it. Would... Yeah. Don't hurt it. I'll hurt you. You roll animal handling check? Where's your Irish uh, yeah, roll an animal handling check. The druid who can talk to animals definitely can do it, but... Oh, <laughs> buddy. Buddy! Animals don't like Val, all right? Um, no, no, it's okay, it's okay. So as you try and pick it up, it immediately hisses and just claws your hand, and, like, both claws sink in. And, like, Mistress has to pry it off of you, and you just see trickles of blood going down your hand, and you take one damage. I turn to that cat, I'm like, Whiskers, that is not nice. 
and I turn no. him into a seahorse instead. <laughs> no, that that's pretty typical of a cat, in my experience. Yeah, that's cats that's... don't. I know that's like how cats work. Whole... But I'm like, this looks nice, and I turn him into a seahorse. Cats don't <laughs> tend to like the whole tusks and you know. We had ship cats, and they stayed away from me. How long are your tusks? They have not been trimmed, so, you know. Forever, to your they've nose. Been, they've been used. For, <laughs> to your nose. I don't they think horse tusks keep growing and growing like a boar's tusk. No, I don't think so either. But they have been used. They're not well taken care of. Nice. Um, They're so... kind of, you know, chipped and whatnot. But. I have two cats. Called? You have two cats. Um, what are their names, Exa? I turned the seahorse back. Oh, nice. What are their names? Other than Whiskers. Whiskers? Vincent? <laughs> and Smoke. And Rayloff. Rayloff. Uh, Vincent, Vincent is named whiskers. after the only cat I interact with in real life. Um... So His Vincent... actual name is Vinny, but I exclusively refer to him as Vincent. I love that. Hello, Vincent. My sister has a... <laughs> yeah. Hello, good morrow, Vincent. Good morrow and good eve. <laughs> Somebody make a character named Vincent for the Victorian campaign. Hail and well Vincent met, will Vincent. Be I refer to him as my familiar. He's a really nice, like, sleek, uh, gray cat. Couldn't name a single one of them Smoke. So <laughs> There's too many smokes this weekend. Stop! Too many smokes. Yeah. Too. Fair. Okay, so. Fair. You guys have had right. breakfast. I'm it gonna is... go get a hamburger. I'll be right back. It is early afternoon. <laughs> Exa go get the hamburger. <laughs> Exa Four for so. What did you say? How much was breakfast? Four silver? Uh, yeah. Uh, Three silver. For I'm each of us? Three Exa silver. I each. split the room, so two silver. Was the rooms two, four silver? Four silver, each? so two silvers each if you're splitting the cost. Okay. Yep. We'll go Dutch. I mean, you shared the bed, so. Didn't even have him buy you dinner first. <laughs> I Easy demand please. cat pics. Sphinx. I don't have a cat. I can't send you cat pics. Oh. Oh? Oh? Oh. oh. I. Found necklaces and such in the cave, and I'd like to sell them. I found eight twenty-five gold piece worth of things. Okay, so roll if a. If that's easy enough. Okay. Well, you're looking. So you guys haven't really been to like some place that would buy jewelry or antiques. So you're kind of looking for like because they're not just on necklaces. They're necklaces, bracelets, little statues. It's a bunch of art pieces. Uh, so it's... you find oh, a general God. goods store that might buy them, and you also find a like a. Roll an investigation to see if you can find, like, a pawn shop or jewelry store. Okay. You should. Would I be able to, like, convert my coins? Yeah, while you're here, you could convert them at the inn. If you're in a town, you can convert your coins free of charge. Just because. Uh, you do find a nice little out-of-the-way pawn shop that looks like it might buy them off you. Uh, I try to sell them for worth their whole value. Uh, they sell for whole value because when you get that stuff, I already account that they're worth more, but, you know, you get them for selling value, so we don't have to haggle. If you'd like to try and sell them for more, you can try and make a charisma check or a persuasion. Nah. Okay. <laughs> then you get 8 times 25, 200 gold worth of... Hell yeah. And then I go back to the magic place and I'm like, wait, 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 wait! <laughs> It's me again. Uh, Soul from earlier. Can I get another pearl? Uh, let me see if I have another. Um, I might. She does not have one. I'm sorry. Dang it! It's okay. Um, there is a magic scroll shop. Uh, he might have some pearls. He deals more in components than I do, which is potions and minor magic items uh it's about an hour or no about 45 minute walk uh near the center of town um near a 45 minute walk near the center of town so you guys are like on one of the outskirts or actually no because you stayed real close it would be back towards where you guys stayed 
you were walking more towards the docks because that was the place you knew of. But it's probably about 15 minutes from the hotel the inn you're staying at. Mm. What are the rest of you guys doing while JR's like just prancing around town, by the way? I want to go to doing a, bank. a wizard thing. Want to go to a bank? Uh, yeah, I want to exchange some money. Oh yeah, no, you can do that at the end. If you if you want, like okay. most places will work like a, a grocery store where you're like, hey, can I break this twenty or hey, can you give me? Like, hey, I have this. Can you can exchange it? If you need to go to a bank for large amounts, you can. But that's I just count as it's not really going to take time away just to exchange currency because. As a player, that is one of the most tedious things, in my opinion, is I have 75,000 copper. Let me go somewhere and take six hours to convert it to gold. So, is there anything else you guys would like to do? What's going on? I'll go over to that one place, but I'll let them do their thing. Yeah, well, <laughs> you're like an hour ahead of them time-wise, so I don't know. They're, they all have money. I want to give them opportunities to buy stuff if they yeah, want. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You guys are out of healing potions? I have two. Okay, I thought you guys were out, but that works. Mm, I am out. I am done. Um, there are magic minor items. There are equipment if you guys want to go and get better armor. You guys have about three or four hours to kill. Soul has about two hours to kill. Because oh, where do we have to be? Go shopping. If you guys wanted to go back and collect the rest of the money and see what the city guard says, the captain of the guard said about progressing this endeavor that he sent you upon. Um, is there anywhere I, anywhere I can buy a set of thieves tools? They're not called that, but yes, you can. Most blacksmiths would sell a set of lockpicks, and if you pay the a little extra, they don't ask why you're buying them. Okay. Um, have an herbalism kit. Herbalism kit? Yeah, the same apothecary that you bought the potions from the first time would have that. Okay. So, you would go with JR in his endeavors. Exa going to the blacksmith. Like I said, if you guys want to RP this out, we can. I just also... Do you need potions? Who'd you say? Al, do you need potions? No, I, I think I'm okay. I, I appreciate it, though. Listen. Oh, make sure you actually add it to your character sheet this time. <laughs> yeah. Um, I did not take a potion. I'm not adding one. Take it. I mean, if anybody needs it, Val. <laughs> Val, he really doesn't want to take this potion from you, but I'll take it. He's going to fight you. Please. What kind of potion is it? It's just plain. Okay. I was I... literally debating going and buying one, but Val does not want a potion for you. Val has ser serious psychological issues to work through. What? Wow. That's what? I know. Uh, so does she have any more potions of healing and an herbalism kit and other potions? She does have a few other potions. She has a couple potions of water breathing, which you would expect in a city like this. Ah. A potion of animal friendship. Uh, let me look Don't at... need it. Yeah, I know. <laughs> Got that on lock. <laughs> uh, she does have three more uh, potions of healing on her. And how much is that potion of water breathing? Uh, what is the rarity of a potion of water breathing? I believe they're only supposed to be like 50 gold. Yeah, they're uncommon. They're the same as a potion of the uh, Redler healing. So 50 gold for a potion of water breathing. Um, I'll take one of those. Okay. If you don't mind. Um, is there a bulk discount? Get the, the bulk discount? Make a charisma check. Uh, Persuasion. Not yet, no, but you can always roll high. Yeah, you can try. If I buy three potions in the herbalism kit? 
Well, I'm guessing you're all together. So for the buying, well, for everything Jr. did, plus the three potions, yeah. plus that, you roll performance, not persuasion. Oops. It's, oh, that's much better. better. That's yes, that is much, much better. better. That's also perception. <laughs> God fucking damn it! <laughs> I'm good. Nope. You okay, Chris? Not good. No. Oh, uh, she was giving me the bonus action. That's what it was. Okay, Hold we're on. just gonna say that it's that first roll, so it's gonna stay a sixteen because the bonus is the same. Okay. All of them. Are you with them? There's too many p words. Yeah. So, for buying the. Th for buying all of that, she will give you, you, a ten... Mm. Me? Well, yeah, you're the one doing this, because okay. you're like, well, all of my other friends bought stuff. So, she'll give you a 25% discount. Okay. Your total was like, what? Three potions, plus Valve's potion. Valve's on board. Yeah, so yours Three is Three potions and an herbalism. So yours is 155. So okay. we'll say that 110 is what she'll charge you because of all the money your other friends spent cool. here today. Uh, she also has a potion of speed. Oh, no, that's way too expensive for any of you guys to afford. We can steal it. <laughs> wow. We can try. What she's got? Uh, she has a potion of speed and a potion of fire breath. God, I wish I knew someone who had the spell fire breath. Yeah. All of them, do you want to go zoom zoom? Okay. Just so you know, a potion yeah, of speed is speed. uh like 5,000 gold. Yeah, do you want to go zoom zoom, all of them? Speed. Uh, I think they call that meth for you. Speed. How much is the... <laughs> Wait, um, did you want meth? Out of the thieves tools? Uh, it's whatever the PHP says. Okay. Jesus. Like, I can hook you up. Do you want meth? Oh, I... What is that? Dude, I live in East Tennessee. I can get it. I'm looking at the sheet right now. <laughs> yeah, 25. That's... I, I would think that these tools aren't that expensive, and the premium is the people don't ask questions on them. Yeah. It's not why I did it. I know. <laughs> I own multiple sets of lockpicks in real life, which is weird because I don't know how to pick locks. Why? Why do I own lockpicks? Yeah. Why do you uh, not own lockpicks? I got them from my brothers uh, when they were learning how to pick locks, and I never bothered to learn how to pick locks because if I get, need to get into something, I normally just break it. Or use a like a debit like a card, like I what do Trey the, does. I do the Jason. true D and D character thing where I just break things when I need to get into them. Um. Okay, Ben has a shady past. Shady? Don't know her. Oh! No, there are just a bunch of abandoned buildings in the woods. Um... There. Dun, dun, dun. All right. Um. Okay, so you have your potions. Soul, you do know the location. We haven't gone back there yet, so you do know the location of a magic spell shop that might also sell some minor magic items and spell components. So you guys probably after all of this have about two to three hours to kill until the captain of the city guard said, meet me back here. Who would like a potion of healing? I have three. Don't you have four now because you had two? I had two, gave Val one, now I have two. Now I have four. Yeah. I can do math. Um. I have three more. I would like a potion of healing. Here you go. <gasps> yeah. Hey. I have a potion of healing. Exa? All of them. Um, Are you muted, Trey? I've got to push to talk, sorry. Yeah, I've got All of them gets one anyway. Okay. So, Mistress spends her money to buy potions and then hands them out to the Exa. party. 
Yes? Here. Do I get a potion? Yes. Nice. Now you get a cat back. <laughs> <laughs> Here. Hands you cat, hands everyone else potions. Dang. <laughs> Your own cat back. Okay. Um, so, I hand out three. Cool. Back down to one. Okay, so Sol, are we go? Are you leading the party to your next endeavor? Since you're leading the yes! shopping trip. Okay, so as you guys get back to the inn you stay at, it's around noon. Uh, Sol leads you a little bit past it, and you see a very nice-looking marble um, store. It's matching the surrounding area, since you are near the center of town. Uh, it doesn't look to be anything like too ornate but as you go inside you can definitely tell that this is a shop where the arcane is present uh behind the counter you see a drow elf um book on there the blinds are closed because you know sunlight drow not friends and he seems to have a couple items hung up here and there that seem to be of the arcane nature and just looks you all up and down and goes back to reading his book. I look very confused. But then I go up to the man and I'm like, Hello, I would like your selection of scrolls. What the, uh, what level or what? I can make and or have One. most common scrolls on hand, so as long as you're not looking for anything too exotic, uh, I can procure them. Alright. So I... Basically... He'll have anything, like, one level one or two? Yeah, anything level one or two, for the most part. If you pick a Dunamancy, probably not, but... Yeah. That's why I took him at the level up. Ba 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 ba. Yeah, I figure. Probably um, just telling you, like. Uh, how about spell components? Do you have a pearl? Uh, value, please. A hundred gold pieces. Uh, easy. Give me uh, one moment, and he will, uh, like turn around and like go into one of his cabinets and pull out a container, open it up, and there is a pearl that you were looking for. All right, I'll take that. Da, 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 la, da, la, da, da. Acquired. Anything else while the rest of you are sitting inside this magic shop that you want to look for? Uh, she said it only had like spell components and spell scrolls, right? Not like magic items. No, he has a few right? magic items you can see. Oh, what does he have? Uh, this is more of an ask and I roll to see if he has it type of situation. Oh. Alright, let me there are, through mine. <laughs> there are some common things that would be, uh, like, some very common magic items. You do see he has a bag behind the counter that looks rather normal, but the way it's positioned, yeah, it does have a little plaque underneath that says, that says bag of holding. Um... He has a couple weapons here and there, a spear on the wall that looks minorly enchanted, probably a plus one, a short sword that might be a plus one as well. Uh, it's not loaded, this is no giant magic shop, but probably things he either procured from other people and or enchanted himself throughout the uh, time he spent here. Is this the same guy that I tried to sp scam into buying my spear? Yes, yes it is. Okay, I don't come in then. <laughs> I wait outside. I forgot about that. Yes. You noticed this shop, Exa. <laughs> I wait outside. I don't want my oh. I don't want my compatriots to have to pay extra money because they're associated with me. Yeah. Mm, I'm all good. I don't think I need anything particular in the magic item department. Any anybody else, or are we good? 
good. I'm saving up my money for half plate or an item that lets me fly. Either way. Why does that fly in these campaigns? Flying's fun. Flying yeah. is fun. Um. Hmm. Mistress? I just want to make sure we don't leave this and somebody goes, well, I wanted to buy something from them. No. No. I bought potions, so that was enough. Oh, yeah. You're probably broke now, aren't you? Uh, I have 80 left. Okay, fair. All of them? You have 80 left, Chris. Cool. Okay. 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 I mean, she doesn't want the gold, but she's not going to spend it on something frivolous. But she's going to help out the party with the gold that she has. Okay. 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 Um, and there's no necessarily... And Val is just following around like nothing? Yeah, Val is leaving. Yeah. I feel like... A... Oh, can I Nothing's make... really caught his eye. I think I should buy knock. We have people that. Nah, I'll be fine. Should we? Get... So as you guys go, uh, all of them has slipped away. Uh, in between the potion shop and this shop. So. Do we notice? Uh. He's three foot tall and good at stealth. And Mistress probably notices him walking away, but I don't know. Would Mistress do anything? Watch who walk away. Val, in between, as you guys were walking, he just kind of like steps into an alley. All of them. Val? Sorry, cool. all of them. Yeah, Val just fucks off. I mean, that's on par for Val, too. It is, but. Yeah. Val of them. Oh, what up? Valid. Make it a thing. Wow. <laughs> uh, the tallest no, and shortest member care. of the group are now shipped. Okay, yeah, so after all of this, you guys can grab some lunch before heading to the captain of the guard, or if you just don't want to head back to the captain of the guard, you can do whatever you want. Uh, we got to get more money. Is it? Yeah, that's what he's offering us, like another job. We got potentially, to... and if we can shut down this, whatever it is, I'm I'm going. Okay, if you guys want to grab lunch, another three silver for buying lunch here, or you can eat some rations you might have left over. Up to you. Um, it's a nice roast for lunch. Uh, a nice roast. It's comedy central roast. Yes, it is. Wow. They're roasting Val. Getting flamed. I'm literally roasting him. <sighs> so, are we good to continue to the point of going to the headquarters or. I wanted to buy something at that shop. Okay. We're in that well, alley. It was a joke. It was just a joke. Because you said you didn't want anyone having to come back and be like, but I wanted to buy something. And well, you don't even know where like, that shop is. I don't want to buy something. I don't actually want to buy anything. Okay. Um, so as you guys return fed and your pockets a little lighter after they were made much heavier last night you approach the the, guard, the familiar headquarters and the guards outside don't even like go to stop you they are expecting you um they welcome you in, and a guard inside, sitting behind a desk, tells you to just please sit and wait, that the captain is expecting you, and we'll call you in shortly. Giving you guys a brief second if you want to do anything in this waiting room. If not, I'll just take you right in. Guessing not. No. Yep. I just stand in the corner and look around distrustfully. Yeah, that's on par. Uh, the yep. captain eventually uh, opens up the door to his private office, uh, looks around a little, just a little like, ah, uh, fuck, and just waves his hand for you guys to come inside. These fuckers again. 
Not even that. It's something. It's something else that's on his mind. Aw, oh, shit, we just got rid of the smell. <laughs> did you all bathe last night, or did you? do you still smell like trash? I slept sitting in a chair. I still smell like garbage. Yeah, no, I didn't bathe. I'd have to assume I bathed. Yeah. So Soul, Exa, <laughs> and Mistress probably bathed. All of them and Val yeah. still smell like... Val still smells Was like body bath parts. bath in the room? No, but they would have had a pri You would have been able to find a private... Bathe. Like I said, you guys didn't really start your day till 10 and woke up at like 8, so in that two hours you could have found a private bathing room. Um, if you if you bathe this morning, take a silver off of your uh, inventory. Hey, I bathe. Uh, as you guys walk into his room, the captain motions and there is actually seats for all of you this time, as is, he was expecting you. Uh, thank you for coming back. This is... This information you gave me has caused... A headache would be to understate it. Um, there is definitely four more members of this organization, and... The places they seem to be are only more troubling than the one before them. After talking to the council, and, well, mainly my colonel, uh... He would like you to continue this investigation because we don't know who is in on this. We don't know who is colluding with these people, and one of the people might be a higher up in the city's police force. Um, basically, after much deliberation and very little sleep last night, it looks like there are two members from the Crafters Guild, uh, specifically somebody from the metalworking and somebody from the tailoring that are involved in this. Somebody from the Import-Export Committee, which is a group of workers that are not very liked in the city. They basically handle taxing people for items brought into and out of the city so yeah those people aren't and then the fourth seems to be somebody that's dealing with fine jewelry magical or fine items overall these is the most troubling because when you have convoys carrying hundreds or thousands of gold worth of items, you usually hire a city guard escort. And that involves talking to a guard of at least lieutenant status. Usually lieutenant. The captains can't be spared for this, but it does mean that one of my, sub one of my subordinates or one of somebody else's subordinates is possibly involved in this have corruption in the city now can we corruption we had a high priestess be corrupt in this a city guard is not really shocking after that but it's definitely not good news and that is why we don't want our sergeants investigating this because soldiers talk plain and simple that's why there's no guard besides me in this room with you now and why I have distanced myself from a few to make sure my judgment is not skewed. The easiest ones for you to find, I can't even say easiest, you're finding a needle in a haystack. Um, the Crafters Guild have a headquarters where most of their jobs are given out of. It's mainly a building where people can go and post jobs in different types of artisans bid on those jobs type of setup the import export the information in the caravans that were hit seems like it would be out of the eastern gate export office or the restless wharf office and as for the guard we have no clue there's seven lieutenants in this area alone to investigate so we're hoping that if you except this, that you can glean information off of the other three of who this might be. The priestess still resists any methods we have of getting 
information out of her. Uh, this does kind of sound like a city problem. Oh, so you'll be well compensated. What's in it for us? 250 gold per alive traitor brought in. I cut my eyes over it all them to see if that's a fair price. How much do we get paid uh, for? For what? For dead traitors. Because let's be real, we're probably going to get at least one. Like, I believe in us. I think we could get all of them. If we try to bring them in alive, they might uh, kill themselves before we can get... Uh, so they don't... Bring give it dead traitor you will need evidence to prove they are the traitor if you bring in a dead traitor with evidence 125 gold is their head okay that that makes sense because otherwise we could just kill people and save this time all right uh, that's fair 200 per live 250 Two, per dead. 250 per alive 120 oh were you trying to that was you went down in price were you trying to negotiate 150 per alive no, I'm trying to push that one up 50 and bring the other one up 25. So 300 and 150. Deal. Oh. I will take this money out of my personal savings if necessary. We need to get this problem dealt with now. If that's your price, then I will pay it. Is there anything to go off of to start? Like I said, investigate. Start in the Crafters Hall, the Crafters Guild, if you can... The Metalworking, carpentry, tailoring, and glass making all have leaders there, and they all, and the, they would know how to get. Basically, those four guilds have a representative there, or an elected head at that building, and they would know how to get in contact of heads of other ones, but the tailoring and blacksmithing, metalworking, are the ones you're looking for. So going there would be a good start for that and going to the Restless Wharf and or the uh, Eastern offices for import-export, pretty much basically the tax offices for just bringing supplies into, out of, and or through the city that all the paperwork is lined up for in an order would be the best to find the other guy. The, uh, there. and... not telling us. Cool, cool. Um, so, oh, and uh, before I forget, um, those, the committee approved an extra 50 gold for the monsters you killed. Uh, and okay. the court wizard bought the pieces for an extra 42. Uh, so, and I'll look at him. Say what we need more than gold is healing potions. I can give you 92 gold and you can procure healing potions. Yeah, just take the gold and buy the potions. I, I'm trying to get more potions out of him than the gold he's giving us. I want four healing potions instead of the gold. He can, he can pocket the... So I... I understand your demand for these things, but... It's city, it's city card, right? They have potions. Not... We have potions in a case of dire emergency. We have two clerics well, on it, hand. It's more get used in a situation like this, where we're going to be out there risking our lives, and we need them so that we can actually get things set back on track. You have to buy those potions from somewhere, right? And I'm sure you don't pay full price because, after all, you are the city guard. I don't. I don't and buy potions. On I just get behalf. them. They get delivered to me by my superiors. They are magical items of sorts. They get delivered to me by. I think it's the court wizard who mandates what city house gets what amount. I think in the lockbox in the back, in case of riot or devastation, I have three just in case like they are not we are not the military here we are the city guard the military the city would... guard were to write a note 
giving us a discount at a local store on behalf of the city guard. That's... I think you know where to get potions for cheaper. A note requiring a discount for business. Make a persuasion. With advantage because of all of them. Okay, thank you. Shit. Plus Ooh. one persuasion. That's exactly what I have to. Giving you potions okay, is not something I can do, but writing you a note for somebody to give you a discount? That is. Uh, one moment. And he will write up a note that pretty much just says uh, note for requisition, do not charge more than making price, will be reimbursed. Uh, pretty much he tells you your guys are going to pay the half price, and the city guard will pay their price. So he's going to keep the gold, but you will be able to get it essentially half off on up to four potions. So he I don't will write. They're going to pay the other half, but I don't care. Oh, he, he, you don't know if they're going to pay the other half or not, but yeah. But you know what? Four, pick up four potions of healing. So, I uh, the note is written for where would they get give me a second I, I didn't think this part so I gotta think where the which shop the city guard would get their potions from I don't wanna RP that we can just you know no I'm not going to I'm just telling you where it would be cause I, I wanna just keep track of time yeah. uh it wouldn't be far it would be in the city center it'd be one of the it'd be one of the high end apothecaries uh, so if you guys don't want to RP it, yeah, 100 gold, you can pick up four more potions of healing. But you guys don't put, get that. I'll put the 100 gold in, and I'll give everyone else one. So... You wouldn't have one for yourself, then? Yeah, I'm fine with that. Okay. Uh -huh. oh. Okay. So everybody gets an extra potion of healing. And he gets to... Cool. He's probably going to use that gold to just pay them the other half, to be honest. Probably, but Val doesn't believe that. Hmm, Val doesn't have to, but he, he just saw it as wait, so I get to their pay. Fuck it, the math works out. I just look at it like I got a better deal than spending $200 or 200 coins on potions. Yeah, you didn't really gain any money, but you didn't lose it either. Like, it's it, it was an honest... Yeah, it was. I'm just saying, I got my half price potions. I'm yeah. a happy man. You did. You well, finally got happened... potions at a discount. <laughs> what happened to the note? Uh, they took it as a receipt. Uh, he would have also given you two more notes. One that gives you permission to act as deputy. Pretty much, he's given you a, a note that says you're allowed to question people on official business from the city guard, and you're allowed to see records. On a fish, on official business. On the way to the apothecary, could I have gone to Exa? Because I'd see him writing things all the time and taking notes and gone, hey, can you write this down? For which note? For the discount. What do you mean? Like, can Just, I copy uh, the text? Copy it over and. So you know, it's a requisition it like order official so it's an official piece of paper like not just like a par piece of parchment with it he put a requisition order in for it it has his seal on it and it's timed dated and has an order number all so, right Jake. you caught me yeah i know i know exactly what you're doing and i'm going against it because i know how dangerous it is, it is giving pcs a piece of paper that's exactly that's what, what i was trying to do i know exactly what you were trying to do when i was prepared <laughs> I watch TikTok too, motherfucker. Oh. <laughs> um, so. Alright, what are you guys doing? Uh, I had it going up to the guild. Yeah. Okay, so the guild is not far from the apothecary. It, does, it is near the... the Guild headquarters, the, like the guild hall, there we go, that's the word I was looking for, is close to the 
Marquis Mansion and a lot of other massive um, figurehead buildings. As you get near this place, the number of guards increases heavily because it is higher society. And the buildings start to look older but nicer. This is definitely the old part of town, probably where it was actually founded. Um, the guild hall itself looks like somebody took a fair amount of old buildings and patchworked them together. It looks rather nice, but you can definitely tell that this was probably three or four buildings at some point in time that have been merged to make one massive building where these craftsmen can uh, get together and share jobs. It makes building houses really easy when you have carpenters and glass workers and metal workers and tailors all in the same spot and you can communicate very easily it makes posting jobs like hey i need a thousand horseshoes made people can bid on it you can get the best price it leads to competitiveness capitalism bullshit you know um as you enter there are two guards standing out front of the building looks like just city guard stationed here um it immediately opens up into a uh, round domed uh, hall there are four hallways on the back wall so left to okay not really wall it's a circle going from left to right each hallway has a sign over the door the left one with blacksmithing next one in with carpenter the next one with um, tailoring and the one to the far right with glass blowing sorry could not think of that i even have it written in front of me and i couldn't say it um, at the very center you see a rather a decent sized circular desk that you could picture two or three people could work behind uh, one thing you notice particularly about this desk is the supports and some of the framing has been reinforced with metal and the reason you see that being is behind this desk working on paperwork you see a large hulking goliath figure with a very tight buttoned up shirt wrapped around him and a set of uh, glasses on his nose as he looks down and is reading what looks to be paperwork and he's sorting he's just sorting different requests and other things but you are this is the grand poobah of all this and that no it is not Damn it. I would not put a direct Grog reference in this. <laughs> yet. It's part of the Taltari Council! <laughs> and, so, and look at that, Alora died. Um. Let's delete this one. Uh, you also, behind you on the walls, you see boards with what look like job postings. So this is where people can come and bid on jobs. Uh, the Goliath at the front desk does look up and looks all of you up and down. And notices you're all lost and kind of puts a giant hand up and like waves you towards him. Do you walk forward? Do you just continue looking? Oh, yeah. Yes. Yes? I walk towards him. Mm hmm Hello? Uh, hello. Um, you don't look like normal crafters. Do you have an appointment? Do you have a walk-in? Are you here to post a job? What What can I do for you? We're here for... Shit, why are we here? Fuck. <laughs> God damn it. Mm -hmm. We're here to... The... Investor guide for the ap apprehension of criminal. That one's true. It just doesn't explain a lot. Um, uh, apprehension of. I would hope there's not criminals here, but uh, the. As the guild, we would like to keep a transparency with the city guard. Is can I see some paperwork or identification? You don't look like normal guards. Uh, we're freelancers, but yes. And then I pull out our. Um, deputizing document okay um all looks in order here is 
there's something I can point to in the right direction of. Mm. Anyone seem shady? I. We work with. Who's crafters. been spending money lately that didn't have it before? Okay. Um, I don't get into our crafters' personal lives. I'm here because I'm good at paperwork, and because there's a lot less unhappy crafters when there's an eight foot six Goliath with a metal club in your way between the people you're yelling at. Right. Right. I get it. Who's got nice new tools? I don't know if he knows. Nobody that I know of has new tools or a new building or new stores. I mean. There's a crafter with a new store, but he got a large contract to build a mansion, so that's in line, I believe. Who do you build a mansion for? The Marquis' cousin. What's his name? The crafter and the Marquis' cousin. Yo, yeah. Uh, I do not know the Marquis' cousin name. It's his summer home here. I work on here. The crafter's name, it's a... Uh, a mason, he doesn't reside, reside here much. He saw the contract and bid a absurdly amount. Um, I believe it's a stone dwarf, stone dwarf by the name of Utak. Don't know much more about that. You really gonna do this right now? Am I gonna do what? Are you crossing over campaigns? Nope. I'm a hill dwarf named Utak, not a stone dwarf, motherfucker. <laughs> Like, I don't know the difference. The same. Hey, listen, I had to think of a dwarf name on the spot. Utak is the John of Dwarves. It is, really is. Blacksmith. Yeah. Oh. Um, blacksmiths. I wouldn't know much, but the head of the blacksmith, the figurehead of the blacksmithing guild, is in. I can get you into a meeting with him. That'd be appreciated. Okay, um, if you'd follow me, and he stands up, and you see the chair he is sitting in is also made of metal to support his weight, and you do see a massive 8'6 Goliath in a very strained button-up shirt and some slacks. Uh, does the shirt button in the back? Does the what? The shirt button in the back, is that what makes it strange? No, strained, as in... As in, like, Henry Cavill was trying to wear it. Yes, Got it. 100%. Uh, the tailor probably made it for him, thinking it would be big enough, and it's not, but he's too nice to say he needs it bigger. Uh, what and a he, lad. He will walk, and uh, please follow me. And he will take his glasses off and put them in a little pocket. Uh, my name is Vizak, by the way. If you need anything, please don't be afraid to ask. Like I said, we like to keep a good relation with the guard. And he will lead you down the left hallway, which, now that you're closer to it, all the archways seem to have been personalized. Like, this, the sign for metalworking is made out of metal, and it's once you get inside the hallway, it's very dark, and there are little pedestals with very nice, like, metalworking, like, people that showed off their skill by making, like, an ornate uh, battle uh, warhammer with, like, some twists in it, and it's just artwork to, like, show off what the metalworking guild can do and as he leads you down you eventually get to a part where there's a couple doors on each side that probably look to be things like keeping track of who's working on what project and some people to help decide who gets what project uh maybe some financial aid if some of those place uh some of those craftsmen fall into unrest and try to look out for their own. But at the very end, you do see a probably about 30 foot by 30 foot room where there is uh, not really a receptionist. It's, it's just a, it's a main office that's pretty open. Uh, there is a double door that has remained open and uh, very dark, uh, like dark oak furniture. And behind one of the, behind the only desk, you see a, rather small figure actually you see a halfling uh tanned calloused skin that has definitely been 
the result of years working behind the forge. Probably most of his life was behind that, and now he is in this position because he was one of the most respected in a business mind, and he now leads the Metalworking Guild. Um, he is very busy, and there's paperwork all over his desk as he goes back and forth. And he seems a little nervous, but that's probably just because of his demeanor. Um, but as you get to the entrance, Vizak goes, uh, I will be back at my desk because I still have work to do, but if you need anything, please just call. And you are all left there with this little halfling who looks up at you like, what the fuck? Um, how can I, how can I help you guys? I'm kind of in the middle of something right now. Oh, sorry, wait, what? But what are yeah, you doing? Fine, we'll leave. <laughs> <laughs> okay, bye! And then we walk out of the campaign. Uh... We go to Darkto. <laughs> yeah, go to Darkto. Have fun. I have um, plans for that. Now! Um, what were you in the middle of? Uh, just... <laughs> figuring out who would be best for what job. We have... 50 active people looking for jobs, about 70 crafters looking for jobs uh, to keep busy, so finding out who one needs the money most, or who can have the lowest bid, or whose skills fit best is its my job, and also managing funds, interrelations with other things, you know, just um, a lot of paperwork, a lot of politics, a lot of stress. <laughs> mm. That's fair, that's fair. Is there anyone suspicious in the guild? Um... Straight up. Suspicious? I mean, we're metal workers. We have people constantly coming in and out of the city, and we don't always know their backgrounds at first. We try and have a good relationship and open-mindedness, but... Some people are running from things, some people are not. It's hard to tell until you really get to know somebody. Like I said, we have 70 crafters looking for jobs, probably about 100 total in the city that are a part of this. Mm. Guys, this is hard. Uh, can you tell me particularly what you're looking for? Well, I... Like, if you have more information, I might be able to narrow it down. I look toward Valor, all of them are ex or mistress. <laughs> Guys, do we have anything? <laughs> um, we're looking for bad people. I, I got that. We have reason to believe. Should we? I look to see if we should like reveal everything to this person. Probably because they're like the head and the head blacksmith wouldn't be the one you'd hope. He is very He's nervous. He's the head priest, so... You're right. Just pre-confirm for me, we know that someone in the Blacksmith Guild is funneling funds? Information. Information. Yes, it's, hey, so-and-so is leaving with these supplies at this time, they'll be at, uh, they should be on this road. The same thing the priestess was doing, but this is how they were getting information on, like, metalworking and raw metal and... So, Val, seeing you struggle, kind of takes half a step forward and goes, You do appear a little stressed, friend. Um, you don't happen to know of any jobs that have run into problems. You know, supplies not showing up when they were ordered delays, things like that. Uh, I mean, there's all those, the, <laughs> there's all those bandit attacks that have definitely disrupted some, some supplies. Um, I don't know of any, I mean, a couple people have all been affected by this, uh, 
It's hard to say. Um, it's not one simple person who's been affected. It's a few here, a few there. Luckily, the supply chains that have happened haven't happened to anybody that needed their money to get through. It's mainly been the people that could lose, sit to lose a shipment or two. Um, yeah, the sort of people where if things happened, it wouldn't cause too much of a disturbance. No, uh, usually, I mean, luckily, it's the more successful blacksmiths who might lose a shipment of swords or maybe sending off hinges or core shoes or just raw supplies that you can get here in Nicodranus at a cheaper rate than in a giant city uh, that have lost. I'll, I'll take a couple more steps forward until I'm right up next to his desk and I'll ask him, and your job, you said, was what exactly? Making sure Exactly what you're asking smoothly. for. Yeah, you, you make things go smoothly, right? He'll, like, sit back in his chair and start rub. Like, he'll take his glasses off and start rubbing his eyes. So when things don't go smoothly... Things always go smoothly. Sounds to me like uh, someone is trying to cut a little off the top. It seems like in to places me, where it wouldn't be noticed. It seems to me like somebody was trying to care for his sick son, and after that was done, he couldn't get away from this group of people. He'll look at you with honest intent in his eyes. Well, it seems to me like. Someone who no longer has a sick son just found a way out. Seems to me like somebody with a sick son just went to deliver his next information and found a camp full of dead bodies. And knew that mm. the people that did that might be coming for him next. Now that is unfortunate, isn't it? Yes. I wonder, those bandits, they didn't happen to have wounds from a great sword would they mm, i already know where this is going i knew the second you started asking or hands missing no we don't want to go missing hands do we i could make filling out paperwork i'd lean on his desk and put my hands on his papers i've already admitted Rather to it troubling. what does this get take me away i just we don't ask. want you we want the people you work for Listen. And if you help point us along the way, we can make things a little easier for you. Listen. About six months ago, my son fell ill. Oh, was... oh, you were the one with the six. On son. one moment, on one <laughs> night home from work, a man and some others approached me and cornered me in a street. No ill intent. He had his face covered, and he sat down in front of me and said that he had an opportunity. He knew I needed money to pay for my son's medicine, and offered me a job. I thought it was harmless at first. I was taking some money from some of our more arrogant and successful smiths. They wouldn't miss it. They all live on more a week than I make in a year. But... Once my son was cured and I tried to tell him it would no longer happen, a group of city guards showed up at my place, apparently looking for treason or money laundering. They threw the entire office, and when they left, there was a note on my desk that said, try leaving us again and we'll find something next time. Which means I knew I couldn't go to the city guard. I couldn't go to anyone. So I kept passing on as minimalist information as I could. And I set myself up for the fact that one day I knew I would get caught. Take well, me it's in. your lucky day, because we don't work for the city guard. Listen, we are not city guard. All I know, I know you're not city guard. For all my care, we got some weird-ass halfling trying to be sneaky. Oh, wait, wait one second. Yeah, that was a shit stealth roll. Even with P-O-T-W. Killing me, Trey. 
I've been muted. You didn't cause enough of a ruckus. <laughs> I had that you, many you, As you tried to sneak around, he did, like, make eye contact with you at one point in time. You have a halfling dressed in black. Are you we you're wearing black uh, key, right? No. What are you wearing? Pants. <laughs> Pants. You have a halfling Thank God for that. Short, a is that a furbolg? I think that's a furbolg, right? Ma'am, are you a furbolg? No, this does say cow. Okay. Points at the ears, points at the hooves. I don't want to assume. You know, hooves. don't see many of you here. You have we don't a want to assume high elf. That you're a bad person. I'm not a bad person. I did what I could for my family, and if I have to pay the price for it, I will do it again next time. My son and is I alive. Respect that. We don't want to have to make you pay a hefty price. If it's but what the I have to do, who, then it's what the I have to do. people who propositioned you. Listen, there was one man. He had a few thugs. I... Do you get contact from this man? No. The second he set me up, my new contact was the bandits. He never contacted me again besides that same weird ass eye drawn on that note about fucking they can find me or the, the next time they'll find something and these yeah. city guards that came and roughed up your pretty little office here you don't know who they worked for uh, what insignia they wore they wore the normal one for the current area they you're running they were the people who should have investigated it I don't know if he snuck in during their investigation after it, or if he's one of them. I just knew that it was too convenient for a group of seven guards to come and ransack my place, and then when I'm going to put all my stuff back together, I find a note. So, player to DM, does Nicodronus have different groups of guards? They do. Or there are different ways to tell who is guarding what area. Like, you know how sheriffs are like, Penel like their county that they're in. There yeah, is different yeah. ways to notify where they should, and these ones are from this area. They are okay. from the central district, which one narrows it down, but also it is the district with the most amount of guards. Yeah, you. I remember you said something back in the office about seven different lieutenants that we would have to. Yep. There's seven, well, he has seven lieutenants, so it's narrowing down those seven. Okay, so we know it's a lieutenant of the central district. Yes, which is what your guard has some. It's weird. The, the central district is still governed by three separate captains because of how massive it is. And even so though you know, weren't in the central district when the whole uh, lighthouse thing took effect, you were still brought a captain from the central district because it was a high priestess who was in trouble, so they didn't want to bring like some lowly captain who was just new on the block to do it. Our contact is one of the three from the central district. Yes. There's two more. There's two more captains, which would okay. mean there is a total of 21 lieutenants in this central district. Well, time to bring them all together for a meeting. And we're looking um, for a We assume we're looking for a lieutenant. Uh, you assume. The, the, the jobs that he was talking about are mainly handled by lieutenants. They will be handled by a captain if the material being transported is sensitive or expensive enough. The note with the eye. Um, what'd you say? Still have the note with the eye. Uh, yes. Um, he'll dig in his desk and at the very bottom he'll pull it out and it is, just as he said, it is a small piece of paper that says, uh, next time you try and leave, we will find something. And there's an eye at the bottom. Is it the same eye as the journals? Uh, very much drawn much more cleanly and precise, but yes. How long did it take for those guards to show up and not find anything after you quit? Or tried to quit? Twelve hours. I tried to quit that night. I tried to tell them I was done by the time I was back in the city. And I was went to work the next morning and about an hour into my shift they were here. You tried to tell the bandits who was quitting? I have 
Yes, there's... Okay. When we do information drops off, so we wouldn't always go up to their um, camps. It's too far of a travel for some of us people to be gone. Um, yeah, yeah. So they send a bandit out, we hand the information, they hand us the gold. We just pretend we're strolling on the beach or through the local wildlife. Um, I do know somebody who might know more, though. Now that's uh, the kind of information we're looking for. Um, you have to understand, I did this to help my sick child. This other person did not. Uh, if... If she's already known you were here, you might not be able to catch her. Hey, thank you for the follow. Hey! Um, if she knows you were here, you might not uh -huh. be able to... The, um... In the Cloths Merchant uh, Guild, there is the, um, the head there is an elderly goblin woman. Very nice, very sweet. Her assistant is a, um, a peach-colored tiefling. She's very... Uh -huh. not. Uh, the goblin is... the lady is very naive and thinks that she has changed, but I found out recently that this... This lady, woman, whatever you want to call her, is also a part of giving up information. Good job keeping their left hand away from their right, don't they? <laughs> I don't know what you mean by that, but... Uh, it... <laughs> what was your son's name again? I didn't write this guy's son's name, motherfucker. I know, but I want you to come up with it on the spot. Ooh, tag my ass. Give me another dwarf name. He's a halfling. The halfling. I know. Ooh, tag my ass. You came up with that one this morning. You can do it. Oh, What's your mother's name? <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Sphinx. Darbrix. <laughs> I'm on a halfling name generator and it has a male and female. Try me. I can go on for days now. Nice. We yeah, might be back. Point. We might have more questions. Uh, We're not taking you in right now. But you go home after work today and play with your son. I'm gonna pull Val to the side. I will. Before so, you go, can I have that? Also, yes. probably not a great idea to let him go home and die. You want the note? Uh, yeah, you can keep it. He will. He's once you turned and started talking to Val, he started like organizing his desk, not in like a getting ready for work, but like in a. He's resigned to the fact that he will probably be going to prison and is just trying to like organize his notes for whoever might be taking over. In that case, we should take him, right, guys? Now you see, all them. I can't trust the city guard. Because we have one. Person we, can trust. we have one, the one main guy. Who already gave us money. But if we make this man quit... You know, if we take this a... man in, like he's the one taking the fall for all of this, maybe they won't be paying attention to that. And we can or... call the guard together underneath this captain, along with his fellow captains, and we can start questioning them as well. Or we could use this man as bait and see which guards show up. If we use him as bait, he doesn't make it alive. Do you not trust me to protect this man? To have and to hold. To care <laughs> for him. In sickness and in health. It's not that I don't trust Val. I don't trust the weak man to live. Oh, he is a... He's a halfling nearing his... His retirement age. You're saying he's gonna die anyway. Alright. No, he's not going to die anyways. I'm looking up halfling lifespans, because I forget how That's the difference of 150 gold that we're placing this on. Does he have halfling cancer? Oh no, not halfling cancer. No, he's... So halflings live to like 250 years leukemia? old. He's probably looking oh at like... Oh my gosh. Half he's probably at like a 200-year-old halfling. Damn, this guy's been around. Does that have halfling leukemia? 
No. Yes, he has. No, he did not. At least a level five artifice. He had halfling aids, right? God, no. He had oh, like fucking. What? Jesus. He had COVID. Okay. He had COVID. He had actual COVID. Go home. Take this mask or something. Yeah. He already had it. He has the antibodies. Just make sure he's safe. In all due respect, two weeks. I'm going to stay here, and I'm going to ready my position for the next person taking over. My son, if I were to face them tonight, I would have to tell them what happens, and I need to collect my thoughts before that happens. So if you're not going to take me in, I would like to stay here and collect my thoughts. Plus, if we take him in, all of them, we're going to have to do it quietly, because we can't trust but one person in this guard. That's why we take him to the one person, and then have an immediate meeting with the three other captains and the lieutenants. That's your call. Uh, yeah, you guys wouldn't know that. Never mind. I mean, this isn't about it being my call. This is about trying to figure out what's going to be right. If you want to take him in, that's your call. I don't believe this stops at the lieutenant. Why don't we hear what everyone else has to say? I'll step back and leave the group. <sighs> oh my gosh, guys. Um, I might mention, if that peach tiefling finds out you're here and investigating me, she knows I'm a part of this as well. She might oh. be running. We're going to pay her a visit before we leave. I'm just saying, if she's known you're here, she might already be gone. That's just we, me trying maybe. to... How would she know sh we're here? You got escorted in by Vizak. The guy is very nice. Kind of likes to talk about drama. Oh my gosh, he's a chatterbug. We hired what him because man. nobody fucking complains anymore. I look didn't... at Exa and motion for him to go outside. And, like, go <laughs> check and see if there's... Peach Leafling's right there. <laughs> just like, don't go... Dang. Don't go to the Clothiers Guild, but go take a look around really quickly. And if you okay, see if taken... go outside. Uh, you enter back into the main room and you see, same as you saw before, Vizak is sitting on sitting in his desk doing his paperwork and looks up at you. Uh, everything go okay in there? Uh, yes. Uh, the Peach Tiefling works for the Clothing Guild, so would this guy know his her name? Uh, the Peach Tiefling's name? Yes. Uh, yes, Lillian. Oh, uh, yeah. do you know where she is? Um, I think she's back with the Goblinus, the, 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 the head of the clothing guild. Didn't do a Goblin name generator. That's what I gotta do next. Also, also Utak. Yeah, Utak. Dumbleduck. Utak the Dumbledore. Goblin. Dumbledore. No, 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 different Dumbledore. dialect. Dumbledore. Utak. Uh, Plel, she's back with... Grimble Grimble. I believe she's back with Plel, though. I haven't seen her in 15 minutes. She came out, asked what's been going on. I told her that there was some official guard business. And she oh, went back there it. and... You uh, chatterbug! <laughs> Classic! <laughs> uh, I can go check on her for you, or you can go back yourself. You're welcome to go wherever you'd like. Uh... No, I will... You no need to do either. Okay. Um. Is there anything else I can do for you? If you, if I see her, should I make sure she doesn't leave for you? Uh, yes, that would be good. Okay. I. Tell her she has a important meeting. I I will do that. Um. Okay. What are the rest of you deciding? Well, X is talking to a massive talking figure. This man in, we're gonna have to get word back to the guard whose name I can't remember. Fuck. Who is our contact? Who is your contact? I don't know. Who is your contact? The, the main. You guy. think Rao writes notes? <laughs> Zentero. Anyway. Captain Zentero. Zentero. Alright. If we take this man in, we, we are gonna have to get word back to Captain Zentero. And I don't think we should leave. But it might look a little 
It might draw attention if we march in a guild master through the central district. Why I assume, can any of you talk to this guy? Like, magically? I don't think any of you are high enough level for sending yet. Oh. No, uh, but I can not be a fear bulk. Um, why march me? You tell me where to go, I will go mm. there. True, mm. oh, he has been pretty. Give me something that they'll know I have reason to be there. You say you only trust one guard in this hall. If you trust him and you're not killing me on sight or detaining me on sight, I'll trust whoever you trust. Me walking alone through the streets is probably better than me being escorted by five unruly figures. Also, um, big man, are you a pirate? <laughs> Who makes you say that? Uh, the leather vest, the massive amount of tattoos, and the fact that it smells like you haven't showered in six years. Mm, well, that showering smell, that's all your bandit friends. That tattoos is so disturbing. You might want to think of a different style of clothing while in the city. You somehow look more shady than the man not wearing a shirt. I'm not actually. I'm gonna. I'm gonna look at him with some shade. You're just wearing pants. Only pants. Just wearing pants. <laughs> I mean, the pants come up to the belly area with a big belt, but you know. So you're um, oh, what's his name? Bruce Lee. Star Wars. No, that's not who. That's Bruce Lee was not in Star Wars. No, no. Bruce Lee. Um, I mean, if you. What's Ben Solo? Maybe name? not in your Star Wars. Han Solo. No, Ben Solo. Oh, yeah. Oh, oh my it's gosh. Something Driver. I can't remember his first name. Adam Driver? Adam Driver, that's it. Yeah, you were in the pants over the armpits. The okay. Home. After that horrible reference, um, <laughs> if you want me to go to this captain, I will. I mean... I'm sure I can look at all of them and go, I think we just ran a note and send him off to Captain Zinterium and... I don't think we need to send a note. Because uh, if they find Delete. it, search him. Yeah, take this. I give him my fire salamander. He'll know when he sees this. These aren't really from here. <laughs> I... Okay. Um. He'll, like, confirm the correct guardhouse with you, which you guys will say yes to. Mm -hmm. Um. Uh, I... Give me a little bit to pack my things here. I swear I'll be going. If not, I'm... I'll know. If that is true, I get... Can you know that? That is creepy. Magic! That is scary. I was just nodding. Well, Are we sticking around while he does this? That's up to you. He's just getting his stuff ready so it doesn't look like he left in a hurry. And the fact that he do is, you know, cares about this guild and stuff. I can give him um... a two-hour window. What do you mean, how? It's like, to stay with you. I don't... To what stay you... with him. You're going to stay with me? I'm confused. Okay, so, I'm sorry, DM to player, what do you mean by that? Like, turn into an animal? Yeah, like I'll turn into an inconspicuous animal oh. while the others stay close uh, with I... him. I probably only need half an hour to pack my things up. I really just don't want to draw suspicion by immediately running to some guard after you guys leave my office. If the guards here are watching me, then that just seems like just I might get is... shanked in the street on the way there. I think he can walk through the street without drawing suspicion. I can. I, I'm a guild yeah. master here. Me walking to the captain of the city guard to make a report is a weekly thing. So I don't think he'll draw any suspicion on the way there. We just have other business to do here. Plus, I'd rather not be in your situation if you find this tiefling. She's kind of a bitch. Let's go find her. I can handle bitches. Hey-o! Hey. Well, I'll stop, Val. Val fucks. It's confirmed. 
Also, I need you guys to go look in the wild mount chat. Yes, I saw. A hundred percent think it's the bottom one. <laughs> Magic. Um, what's your mother's name? Sphinx, what's your mother's name? Um, sorry, I'm just not reading that chat. So, what, do you guys just leave him to do his own thing? <laughs> oh, no. I hate that. <laughs> nope, that's Maybe. confirmed. <laughs> that's all it is. Wow. Okay, no. I don't want to stare at it. it, it Stop. I want to put oh, it yeah. on stream C, but I don't know if that's breaking TOS. No, it's not. Uh, so, I guys, um. This is officially, uh, all of them. Have fun with that and do whatever you want. Um, did I? No, I didn't. Good. So you guys are going to let him do his thing and now you're going to go to the peach tiefling? Mm. Only one person's going? Wait, oh, who's going? Oh, just Val? Or is... Uh. Yeah, I think we're going to let him do his thing, and then we're going to go to the PC link. If he's still here. Um, so as you guys exit, you see Exa. Did you just stay there, Exa, talking to Vizak? Uh, no, I was going like to go back and told them, but I didn't want to interrupt you guys. That's fair. So you all head back out, and Vizak is, like, doing his stuff, and then looking over at the clothing hall, and doing his, like, not very, like stealthfully watching that area um but he does eventually like notice you a little bit and say oh um <clears throat> oh uh i don't think she has she has not come and gone since this man came and asked me to look for her but like i said i'm i haven't gone back and looked for her either uh you can go back and whenever you want uh i can escort you back there to see uh Plel if you want did everything go I mean, over smoothly with Nibin? As smoothly as things always do. Well, I hope he gave you whatever information you needed. He's a very good man. You don't happen to have a back door, do you? Uh, all guild hall? I mean, all the guild halls technically have their own entrance. The blacksmith, they're for private use. Only the, the leaders are supposed to have access to them. How long has it been since we came in? Probably half an hour, 45 minutes. Yeah, that's way too long. Okay. I mean, that was a decent sized conversation back there with a lot of, like, side You're bars. right. I was just gonna <laughs> look at all of them and go, hey, do you want to go around to the back door and make sure she doesn't run out? But I... How about this? All of them and I can, uh, actually... We'll go by the back door and hopefully I'll be able to pick the lock and we can come in that way. Um, do you have the key to the door, or do only the guild leaders have them? Um. Wait, he is a guild leader. He is a guild leader. Right? No, uh, Vizak is, you're talking to Vizak. He's yeah. a secretary. He's, he... Oh, well, we could just go back in and get the key from this guy. No, he wouldn't have a key to her, her door. If she tries to run away, she's gonna open the door. Yeah. Uh, no, I I'm do not. saying we can come in and pincer maneuver. Um, I, do, I don't have a key to her private back door. I do have a key to the the main double door. Um, but not to her private back door. No, that is passed from one guild master to the next as they pass on the title. It is uh, a seeming illusion of, you know, it's pretty much tantamount to having a parking spot at a building nowadays. You got a private key to a private door. It's all right. Um, I will simply enter myself. Okay. So you and all of them are going around the back. Yes. Okay. So I'll tell him if he sees her, don't let her leave. Um. So Vizak. You're a big man. Oh, me? No. <laughs> she is adorable. Kind of a bitch. Adorable. Uh, I can easily detain that small woman. 
Uh, would you like me to lead you back to Plel, or would you like to go yourselves? I think we can go ourselves. I will stay in the lobby and keep a watch. Uh, right through there, and he'll motion you to the... Uh, the tailoring sign, which mm -hmm. is a very nice, like, silk woven sign. And as you go through there, you do see, like, mannequins with ornate clothes on them with, like, spiraling designs that look like they probably take some serious craftsmanship to make. But you eventually get back to the double doors. You see the same thing as the last time where there's some doors on the side that lead to little offices of probably lower employed keeping the same files of everything. And you eventually get to this room. Uh, this one has two tables and it does look like in the back there is some stuff that they can do some tailoring themselves while here um to your right you see an empty desk and straight ahead you do see a elderly goblin woman with some thick ass glasses like crouched mm -hmm. down looking over some thick paperwork ass. and making some notes it looks like she has a squeaky voice cool i hate you so fucking much <laughs> i can't do that man i can't like my voice does not go that well that high uh has it been long enough for the other two to kind of get around outside and uh if they ran which i'm picturing they would have yes or you don't know for sure but you have an idea i walk slow yeah jr are you okay mm, it no. doesn't sound like it never yeah i'm fine and she'll look <laughs> up and like adjust her glasses uh, hi how can i you're some Oh, you're a big fellow. How can I help you guys today? Is there a custom mm. order you'd like made? No, we have some business with an associate of yours, I believe. Uh, rather peachish looking. Peachish looking oh. My assistant, uh, she did leave about 20 minutes ago. Said there was a family emergency. Oh my Asked god. Asked she could use the back door. The family emergency, that's what we're here for. Um, I, we I'm... have some... Yes? Go on. No, 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 please, please continue. What were you looking for her for? We just have some news we need to pass along concerning her family, of course. I... It, it's very urgent. You wouldn't happen to know where she lives, would you? Oh, I, I have her address in my record somewhere. Um... I know it's not far, it's only like a, a 15 minute walk. Uh, give me right. one moment. And she will, like a very elderly goblin woman with thick ass glasses, take her That's time. That's not what I thought you were gonna say. Yeah, like, right. I don't need this in my life. No, no, she's, she, you guys have been, <laughs> Val has been respectful. So she's gonna look through her stuff, but you know, if you've ever been to the DMV and had that old lady trying to look for your stuff, you get the same feeling. It's actually called the MVA in Maryland for some fucking reason. <laughs> the what? The it's MVA. It's called the MVA. Motor V. Motor V. Weird. If it makes you feel better, everyone uh. here calls it the DMV, despite the fact that it's. That's the Department of Motor, Motor Vehicles. Transportation. It's the not thing? DMV. It's the DMT? So, no. have you guys tried no, DMT? DMT is not what it is. You should no. try, I believe it's DMT. You can get some DMT out back behind the just, Yeah, the doggos are okay. Uh, one of them just isn't happy with being in his kennel right now, but he's in his kennel because he was a shithead. Um, and he knocked. He jumped up on my desk and knocked a bunch of stuff off of it. No. So, he got put in his kennel for jumping up on the desk. Loki? Uh, no, Thor. Loki doesn't okay. jump up on counters or desks. But Loki's passed out on the couch. Thor is in his kennel and like, Dad, let me out, please. Thor is the thought. Long? Yeah, no, Does they're it completely take her fine. A long time? Does it take her a long time? It probably takes her like... For a file of her direct assistant that probably should be at easy hand and like reach, it probably takes her about five to ten minutes to find this file. Uh, so, at this point in time, if you would like to lockpick that back door, you 100% can. I was going to say, I probably would have sent somebody around. No, uh, if Exo wants to lockpick it, he can go for it. Okay. okay. Um, yeah, I guess at this point I wouldn't know. I'm grinding my tusks. Oh, yeah, 100%. You're, like, keeping that smile, but, like, 
Yep. Oh yeah, oh, easy. Like Just it. all of them swords out, digging a hole in the. You board. see Exa. Like, pull out these thieves tools, and you're like, oh, okay, cool. And he, like, slides them in there in one fluid motion, just clicks the lock and opens the door. And even you are a little impressed. I think this is a better rogue than you are. Which you're not a rogue, but still. Yeah, not, not a rogue. You're a shadow I immediately rogue. draw my weapon and burst in. I'll be like, hands up. Uh, what? Yeah, I, you, you open this I, door, I, and it immediately opens into this room. And you just see Val standing there with his hands behind his back, like, the most forced smile in the world. As this woman's just looking through stuff in... In her old age, she doesn't even notice. And Val, you see Exa like burst through the door with his. What, what would you have in your hand? Would you have your spear, or just nothing? Exa. He has a shame. Oh, him. I have my crossbow. And you burst through with your crossbow and like aim it around, and then notice that. I guess no, I didn't have a spear since I'm going into a small room. Yeah, fair. <laughs> um, and they just look and she eventually... I don't know what you guys do in the awkwardness of that ten minutes. If any of you I'm would like... gritting my tusks and when they bust in I blink very slowly and just say she left 20 minutes ago. Uh, I would do fine person but I don't... Uh, she does eventually procure the thing and goes, oh... She lives about 15 minutes down the road, and she gives you directions to her house. We bolt there. <laughs> I take it politely and nod and say, have a good day, ma'am. Take care. And, um... You might want to start looking into new assistance. But I... Is the family matter so big she's gonna have to move away? Is, is, everything, is everything okay? I'm trying to remember the voice I did for her. So. Uh, where does she live? Literally like 15 minutes down the road. I can voice. Time for speed. I tried to steal you a potion of speed and you didn't want it. Don't go too far away from everyone else. Um, I'll just tell her they have a very serious infestation. Unless he's using key points, you all move around mm -hmm. the same speed. I move 70 per round. And everybody else moves about 60. So yeah. you that eventually depends. outpace them, but... That depends. Yeah, but you don't have an enemy to charge at for a bonus action. Well, I was going to ask, can I count him as an enemy? Her. Um, no, can I count him as an enemy? Oh, all of him? <laughs> and just chase all of him down. I'm going to smack him in the face and say, catch me if you can. Yes, but don't get me rage for that. No, it's, no. Just, it's a racial. Oh, yeah, it's a racial. a racial. Yeah, uh, technically, if he wants to, you guys can both move 70 feet around. I can move faster than that. Well, no, because you'd have to move towards him, so you can only move as up to his movement. Oh, yeah, because I can't end farther away. Yeah. Um, Catch me if you can. I'll just pick you up and start running. <laughs> so the rest of you, are you trying to keep up with the two people slowly gaining distance on you? Does Mistress have a form that can keep up with them? As a bear, can I just hang on? Like, can I be small enough to be in someone's pocket? Yeah, you could definitely turn into, sure. like... you be anything with flight speed? Because you'll go 100 per round. No, she's not not that level yet, I believe. No, I love the 7. You could turn into a cat and just sink your claws. You have to be level already. 8 to get flying speeds. Level 8? Damn. Okay. Or... Your panther has a 50 foot around movement speed, so you could easily outpace them. Or 100 foot around. Yeah, but I don't want to be a panther inside the city. I mean, if you're running with the orc carrying the halfling. Be a horse. And then you could carry the. <laughs> be a horse, and that way we can sit on your back and just bull. True. Bull yes. Please. Mal pulls his great sword out and just stabs the horse and hangs on. <laughs> That's she does so not have to carry weight for that. <laughs> she just has HP for that. What are you talking about? No, she doesn't have that either. Um, we'll My say... strength as a horse is 18. Thank you. You could be a dire wolf, too. That is true. Wait, can you be a dire wolf yet? You're only level 4. No. What druid are you? That's for her to know. You know you what druid I am! It's, uh... I don't remember. 
Oh, okay. Uh, I'm not moon. Uh, I would say that if challenge what? No, you can't because you're not moon. Yeah. Um, Porter. if you were a horse, I'd say that you could move the same pace as them with Exa and Soul on your back. They're not very heavy people. <laughs> okay, I'll be horse. So, this elderly goblin gives you the note, and all of you are like, thank you. Run out the back door, and immediately, like, a fucking druid wild shapes, the two jump on her back, and the orc just fucking <laughs> starts running. The halfling just lo runs up my body. Look at my horse. My horse is amazing. Yeah, and it's just, you guys are like, are you, are you like truly just sprinting through the streets? Yes. Right. We're like 40 <laughs> minutes behind this woman by this point. Yeah, you are. So by the time, like, you just, you turn this 15 minute walk into like a s seven minute run. Just, you guys are going to get there out of breath. But and besides, you know, Sol and Exa who are just holding on for dear life to this horse that is galloping through the city. This whore? What? Yes, this whore. Um... You definitely call some attention to yourselves as... What do you mean? City Guard are <laughs> now... Because you can't post that in the server. I... Bye. Nope, I will... No, nope. okay. Can't play that on stream. Um... Bye. The City Guards definitely take notice. Other people definitely take notice as... I kind of picture this as, like, since Val grabbed the direction, Val is running while holding a halfling while being chased by a horse with a yellow tiefling and a half-elf on it. And this horse does not look normal. It's a fey horse. Of course it is. Of course it is. Of course it is. Of course. That is not okay. Um. <laughs> Give it a lick. Uh, no. <laughs> that guy's just raisins. <laughs> Exa has uh, held on to dear Yeah, Exa has held on to dear life while riding mistress. Um <laughs> You guys get there in about seven minutes, which is just and as you get there, the first thing you notice is the fact that out front of this building there are there's a horse that's tied off and currently being packed. Uh can I use momentum to crush one of its legs? I was, really, I was gonna say, I just run up to it and decapitate it. <laughs> Happy deal, man. I wasn't gonna kill it. Kill it. Okay. Make. Okay. You broke its leg. What do you're, you think you're you practically it killing it legs. if you break its leg. Like, right, but I didn't kill it. Um, all of them, make an attack with advantage. Are you going I, to go I, and decapitate I, the I horse? I you as horse! I wasn't going to. I was gonna make a joke about it. Are all of them, are you really going to break its leg? Yeah. Uh, Oladim, as you get close and you see this horse, you also see the door opening and this peach tiefling carrying stuff out with a worried look on her face going to patch it. You turn your small figure, put, plant your feet against Val's chest, and with all of your might, you mm. kick off of his chest using all of his momentum to carry you forward. And you do the, like, the anime spin midair and bring your mace across the back of its uh, back right leg. And just, you all hear a sickening crunch. All of them, I need a dexterity saving throw. Okay. So you are barely able to roll out of the way as all of your momentum is tossed into this roll. You take out a horse's leg and then it immediately begins to fall where your body is falling. And you are able to just skirt out of the way as this horse falls at your feet. Can I uh, follow up and hit the peach tiefling in the knee? I'll say I'll leap the horse and tackle the tiefling. I will say Val has, if he wants to charge the tiefling, he has priority here since you attacked the but, horse. But can do it. Yeah, I'm leaping the horse and tackling the tiefling. Just a strength check because it's like an unarmed attack, I guess. You're going to, you I know, mean, be grapple. Right? Yeah, well, I mean Which that's a strength or athletics base, athletics, I guess. Athletics, yeah. Which is higher for me. Yeah, you can do an athletics to just try. Are you trying to, like, tackle her to the ground, or are you just trying to restrain her? I trip over the horse. Yeah, you uh, go, and 
You go to Can jump the horse. I raged. You should have said he raged. You didn't. I don't know, but I didn't. Uh, you go to jump over the horse, but you misjudge it as it's falling down, and it catches your uh, your shin, and you immediately lose all of that momentum and fall flat in front of the tiefling, who is looking down at you like... Uh, and uh, just because I like punishing that ones a little bit. I think you parked your horse in the wrong spot. Uh, time for broken kneecaps on the t -flip. Uh You take another one damage. So you're up to two damage taken today from things that shouldn't have been. As you slam your face into the pavement. Parked your horse in the wrong spot. Uh, all of them. Hold on, I think Chris had something to say. Oh, Chris, mistress, sorry. I didn't hear her. Rides for the horse? Yeah. Hear what? No. Uh, how... You have healing are... magic. You could heal its leg. Just saying. It'll never be the same, but sure. How far are... Am I an exa... And... You're within actionable oh. distance. I let them use yeah. their movement attack, so... I didn't expect you guys to try and break the horse's leg right off the bat, but I went with it. Um, I see, I'm, I'm, uh, I'm waiting to use my unarmed to just try and break her knee. Uh, what? I didn't want to rage. I should have. I don't think you have a is reason. Is it a full... Is it a full... Can I take a full, like, round of actions, or just one action? Just one. Mm. No, I had no reason to, but I should have. I can't do anything. So. I'm with her? I mean, you could give her a nice hoof to the chest. Exosol, are you doing anything yeah, after you see... Yeah, technically, hoof. You're gonna hoof her? I'm gonna hoof her. That Nine does, not, does hit. not hit. You run up <laughs> and you go and try, and she is so like mesmerized by the whole. Or not mesmerized, but like this giant. She was going to put stuff on her horse, and all of a sudden her horse collapses. A halfling at like supersonic speed just fucking bashes its back left leg in, rolls out of the way, and like gets up on his knees to like go at her. And then as she looks up, a uh, orc is coming at her and trips over her horse, falls in her face. And so she starts to back up in fear as she sees two hooves go in front of her face. Soul and X. Soul and Va. Uh, God damn it. Uh, yeah, Soul and Exa. I need dex checks. Because, Mistress, while you were on her back, just. We're on? You were on her. Yeah. They, like, they didn't take a break. They just completely. So as you were on her back, she just did a 180 and tried to kick this tiefling. X is the only Here. character with which I ever roll well. <laughs> The exception, of course, being attack, because all of my attack rolls are, like, four. Those, those are just bin rolls. Yeah. Yeah, but as long as X is not in combat, he's very good. So, can I get that dex check or save? Oh, yeah, sorry, give me a sec. Ooh. X, what would you like to do as you are currently, like, up in the air almost on the back of this horse that just missed a kick? She is um, within arm's reach of you, almost. I'm... Dex save or just check? Uh, save. I had X do it. Let's check on accident, but he easily. Passed. I'm just gonna try to grapple her. Nice. So. so you're just gonna jump off and try and grapple? Holy shit! Uh, I so rolled a, shit. 20, a 19 and a 20 for my last three rolls. So Soul, you get bucked off, and you also suffer one point of damage as you are just thrown into the pavement. X, on the other hand, takes the like height from the horse's kick, dives off, and shoulders this uh, tiefling to the ground, and then like flips her over and puts her arms behind her back. And you have her grappled on the ground. That was a shit show for rolls, and I love it. Um, she is screaming. She is kicking. I'm not even gonna try because I know I have. I know what, I'm, if I roll another nat twenty, she might not be in that. Nope. You have her pinned to the ground. Also, because you guys ran through the streets. Crashed into a horse, tripped over a horse, and are now attacking a seamlessly, seem, seemingly innocent woman. You do notice that the five guards who were chasing you this entire time have finally caught up. Um, 
We've already established papers. I'm the one holding the paper. Yes, uh, you I are the one holding the papers, and you're also holding okay. the... Okay. Um, I use Mage Hand to get the paper out of my pocket and hold it in there. They are surrounding you in a semicircle. There is people holding spears to um, Val to not get up, and behind you, all of them. Uh, they think the horse is just a weird horse, so the other two are on um, Soul, and they are just... What, uh, what is that paper? What are you doing here? Uh, we're apprehending this woman. We're working on behalf of Captain Zentaro. One of the ones on Soul will, like, go and grab the paper and read it. It seems you are. Um, what is happening here? Why is there an attack on a citizen in the middle of the streets? Tell you what, five of you come with us back to the captain's office and we'll sort it out. Spear in my face, out of my face, and stand up. Yeah, they'll let that, they'll just back away. Um, do you need shackles for the woman? Uh, yeah, that would be nice. They'll Thank produce a pair of shackles and they're like, why are these people? Citizens arrest. Um, citizens arrest. Citizens arrest. Okay, um, yes, let's, let's get you back to the captain's office. Um, Mistress, are you still a horse, by the way? Horse. Of course, she's um, a horse. Can we of have... course, she's a horse. Let's put this woman on the horse so we can, she looks pretty, uh, non-compliant. Can any of you do anything about that so she doesn't scream the entire way we're too deep? Oh, God, head butter. So... Exa, are you strong enough to put her over the back of the horse? Uh, how large is she? Oh, like 5 to 120 pounds. If you could let yeah, me I out. Yeah, I have an 11 just... in strength. Yeah. So. Ah, so Exa, like, hefts her up and puts her over the horse, and you just see all of them, like, run and jump up and just forehead to forehead, and she just slumps. Forehead to forehead. I'm not going to make you Astral roll. You're attacking Astral. a person tied. There we go. Yeah. Oh, do you have that? Oh, or do you just make that? That that's my head, but put that bitch to sleep. Um, so you guys for... are now. Can I start put that bitch to things? sleep? What was that, Val? Can I start digging through her things? Uh yes. I mean, they're all a mess and all over the street since her horse is now. Yeah, it's been whining in pain on the ground. Heal it. You can't from a horse. horse. Her I... shit has been thoroughly tossed. I would like to search it. Go roll um, an investigation. Actually, she can use Balm of the Summer Court as a horse. Because you retain your class features and it doesn't require verbal or somatic components. Yeah, yeah. Val, are you saying that this horse. woman's salad has been tossed? It has thoroughly been tossed. Um, It looks like mainly personal possessions in there. Is there anything valuable? Not in a... She was gonna ask Val to look for a journal. Uh, that's kind of what I'm looking for. Yeah, th with that twelve, you did not find a journal. Not shit, fuck out, I'm just fucking horse. Not say, I don't really um, see the here. horse's I'll leg just... starts to mend. Poke around a little bit too. Thank you. Thank All you of them, you do not find a journal. Uh, you do find a small box full of some jewelry, but that's it. I hand that to Val. I will take that. You now have a small box full of jewelry. I'm just, I'm just handing stuff behind to Val as I'm looking for a journal. Uh, you do find, like, a dagger in her stuff, and that's about it. Get back to the yeah. Horse. The horse is, like, mended. It's probably not good enough for it to stand on, but it is no longer shattered. Keep in mind, Val, I am fully inside of her bag. I'm not just, like, looking through it. I am inside of it. Oh, yeah, no, I imagine. The horse's leg... You hear a sickening snap as the bones, like, pop back together. Uh -huh. Something about that is ain't right. But the horse whines a lot and then slowly calms down. And the guards are looking mystified as this weirdly colored horse is, like, neighing to this other horse and its leg is slowly <laughs> popping back into place. Who the fuck are these people? <laughs> yeah, no, 100%. <laughs> 
Were they so distracted by that odd sight that they saw us or didn't see us rummaging through? No, a hundred percent. They were like, they saw you going through her stuff, but aren't paying it much attention as this other horse is like kneeling down talking to this horse and its leg is magically fixing itself. By the way, whenever I made that pop noise with my mouth, I literally ripped the side of my mouth with my fingernail. Nice. Good job. Um, can you cast mending on him? Please. No. That shit hurted. <laughs> It hurt it. It's it fruit 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 loops, man. My mouth is bleeding right now. Drink it. It all, you know, it recycles. Uh, not really yeah, how that happens. Just, uh, extra iron. I'm trying to find fey horses. And by extra iron, I mean the exact amount of iron that was already in it. <gasps> Can I? Oh, it has hooks. <laughs> it has antlers. Why? You're a horse with antlers? No, I'm. And you're a deer. That's, that's exactly what that is, yes. No. You have or, or, or a caribou, or a reindeer. It's cute, though. It's coming. That's what Exa heard last night. That's cute. <laughs> that's cute, but no. I'm just finding it funny that she was like, I'm trying to find a fey horse, and I'm like, here's three. Why does it look like someone just glued horns on top of a horse? It really they does. don't. They don't look like they're growing anywhere feasible. No. Like those should be closer to its eyes and a little bit further down next to its cheekbones. Those are oh, deer yeah. horns that have been colored pink. I mean, do any of those look good, Chris? Uh, I like the. First one. Like the first one. Okay, so the horse you see is a gray to white gradient stallion, and the hair is a fluorescent green and blue. There you go. There's your flavor. I'll make a token for it later. Something about that just ain't right. Um, for you guys. Good. Do a thing right. There you go. Um, it's, a it's a horse. That's my shirt. <laughs> it it do be a horse, horse. though. Of course, um, a horse. So they... That's all you really find, all of them. Like, you can go through and really, like, if you want, you can, like, take some of her finer clothes and stuff to sell, but at that point in time, you're really just kind of being a dick. But Which is not past you. I said <laughs> she was a bitch, so... I mean, you could also leave a guard here to just watch her stuff and come back later. It's up to you. Nope, all these guards need to go with us. Uh, we don't know which ones of them have been corrupted. Before we leave, can I poke a door in the house and just see if anybody else is home? 100%. You look inside, it is a mess inside. Like, she has been running here and there and trying to pack everything she thinks is valuable to herself. That is a really bad pit horse picture. Um, And... Pretty much that's, like, it. she has been going through this place, and it's tossed. She's, like, not even packing clothes properly, just stuffing a bag full of it, throwing it over the horse, coming back in. Uh, there does not to be another. It seems like a very single person lived in home. I'll come back out to all of them. Definitely living above her pay grade. Yeah, I'll tell all of them. Living alone looks like she was leaving in a hurry. Nice place, though. More than she could afford. Is there a Discord? Yeah, Dax. Uh, Bo, can we get the Discord link? Oh, there is a Discord. Yeah. Um, There's a massive Discord, actually. Huge community. Great for playing D&D. &D. Yeah. Huge stuff. Good stuff. Eight, what are we at? 87? We passed 87 today? Yeah, 8,720 yeah. people Discord. That's if a lot of people. If you want to learn about Discord, ask questions, too. We have chats for that. Yeah, we have entire chats for new players. Uh, you mm -hmm. guys will be escorted back to the captains. All five of them will stay with you. Um, do you do anything to try and cover her body on the way back? Or do you just leave her body on the back of Mistress? We can use a blanket um, to, like, cover I take my cloak out of my... It Wait, how much? It's 5 two. You have a cloak, but you're just wearing pants. You know what? Okay. Warm it's out. warm out. <laughs> uh, you're allowed to be in younger than 18, aren't you? 
Yeah. As long as you're, th yeah, as long as as you're long 13 years old you... enough to actually have a Discord account, you can be in the server. Yeah, 13 years old, I believe, family. right? Yeah, Discord's 13 and up. Yeah, we're very friend, like... Is family friendly the right words for that? Family friendly is the right word for that. Yeah, we're yeah. very family friendly. We're PG. Yeah. Which is 13 and up. The, oh, no, the, di the Discord is PG. Oh. The streams the stream. are PG. Yeah, if you're fine with watching the stream, you will definitely be fine with the Discord. Yeah, because this stream gets a lot more wild than anything that ever happens in Discord. Hmm. If you said the things you said we say in stream on the Discord, you would be banned. You'd be warned. You would, you would at least get a very stern talking to the first time. Yeah. If you continue. But everybody on this, the the requirements to join both of these games where you had to be 18 years and older. Yeah. So. And that... we are all that, I swear. Well. I swear, guys. Well, we never saw your ID, so maybe we need a picture. Yeah, but he's from Florida, which means he's at least six years older than he should be because the shit that happens here ages you. That's not how that works. That's how I count it. <laughs> Um, you guys are escorted back. Uh, all of them. You said something about wanting to keep these five guards with you. Yes. Right. Are uh, you going to do anything particular when you get back with them? They all need to go with us to the captain. They will escort all you there, but I'm just saying, once you get to the captain, are you going to try and do anything special with them, like try and detain them themselves, or? Uh. I'm, I'm going to pull the captain to the side and let him know that these five saw what we were doing and we need to vet them before they can go back out and tell other people what happened. And okay. that some contingent of guards came and investigated someone implicated in the scheme. Yes, and also, are all five of these under the same lieutenant and the same captain? So and also, in order, did the guy make it back? As you get there, the uh, halfling would be making it there at the same time as you because wow, look at that. of how the time stuff works. So uh, you guys roll yeah. up with five guards behind you and a mystic, a magically colored horse with a... No, just for flavor, we're saying you rolled her up in a rug. Um, Hell yeah, brother. On the back of it. And uh, the guards look back and forth, expecting you, but not really understanding why you're showing up the way you are. Uh, is... Should we get the captain? I'm gonna take it. We should probably get the captain, correct? Mm-hmm. Um, you saying this? One of the guards outside. No, no, no. We're uh, not here. They can stay here. I'll go grab the captain. Okay. Uh, the horse has to stay outside. Everyone needs to stay right here for now. Everybody will stay right here then. Uh, you will enter and. Nay, disgruntledly. <laughs> Nay, disgruntled. And like, pat my hooves, my front hooves. Can your horse understand us? That's, that's, kind of. Mm -hmm. I've heard of wizard. Well, I, is, we're an interesting bunch. I, I've heard of wizard familiars, but I've never heard of them being as big as horses. Is that what this is? Yep. Draw your own conclusions. My own familiar. The squish looks at you like, you betrayed me. <laughs> <laughs> Don't worry, a wizard can have two. I've learned this from Exa. <laughs> um, all of them, you enter in and you walk straight back to the captain's, give a, crip, a quick rap at the door and like poke your head in and he like looks up at you and, uh, back already? Um, come in, Is what do we need to talk about? Where's the rest of the group? I'm just going to nod my head and give him the, the one finger follow me he will like rub his eyes and be like I wanted to have these conversations behind closed doors but okay whatever you say and he'll get up and like take it he'll, he'll walk behind you and you lead him out yeah okay. so everything that I said earlier about how we need to get these five people vetted are they under the same lieutenant are they under the same captain is it someone that he would trust? Uh, and also the pink tiefling's in on it, or the peach tiefling is in on it, and there should be another one coming up that is a leader of the... Was it Mason's Guild? It's this guy. He's here he with came you. At the, same time. the Metalworker yeah. Guild. The Mason's yeah. was yeah. the uh, dwarf who had got... Who, Mason's was the Utak. Metalworker is who you have here. Yes, yeah. so... Um, our brilliant captain needs to find 
two of his most trusted men have these in a cell have these people in a cell have them guarded at all times um you as he walks out you do see the seven soldiers like drop spears and salute and he goes you seven go to break room b you seven are the only ones allowed in there if anybody else tries to enter that is not one of us here you kick them out under my orders dismissed and they all file into the uh, into the headquarters and seemingly go there. Does the captain know who all seven of those are? Yeah, he would know that they're under his command. He might not be like super familiar with them, but he would like recognize their faces. I keep getting very confused as to why you're um, so familiar with like so like easily familiar at making up the like chain of command and <laughs> protocol for the uh, guards, and then I remember you were in the military. Oh yeah, <laughs> shit's shit's still fresh, man. Um, uh, did you say that pink tiefling stuff and all the other like leader stuff in front of the guards or was that just like hey was it like a hey these seven people need to be detained that, that was that was mostly as we were walking out before we okay. got there because I'm trying to keep those guards in the dark of what's happening I will debrief them they will probably mm -hmm. stay under lock and key the two at the front door I trust and those two I trust fully they're one not in within rank and two have been my personal guards on this building for three years now there's no i i trust them um though they are not beyond suspicion that's why they're in there because even i can have faults mm. apparently this halfling you say is one of them but he came here of his own free will mm -hmm. yeah he's, he's one of the good him. ones he was forced into it to save for his sick son for coming here of your own free will, I will make sure your cell has some comfortable accommodations until I can question you myself. Uh, you also, I asked for my new back. <laughs> you can, can just, ask, you could literally just summon it to yourself from him. Thank you! But he does hand it to you. Um, that mm. is... Go inside. Tell the lady at the desk you're to be put up in a special cell. She will know what it means. Um, dismissed, please. I don't want you hearing the rest of this. I could go so poorly. No, no, there's a difference between the special cell and the uh, this guy fucked us up cell. So. Um, I just imagine that guy going up to the, like, the secretary and going, Hey, I'm here to be put in a special cell. Solitary confinement. <laughs> oh, you want the Iron Maiden? Okay. Um, this pink tiefling you talked about, that is... What I'm guessing Beach. is on the back of the horse. By the way, where did the furball go? They... I don't see anything. I just stare at him. Dad, One of these days, the I will understand you, and that day is not this year. Okay. Um, I'm just what... waiting to see how long it makes him, or takes him to make the connection. What what exactly transpired? You have one of them turn themselves in. You have another one apparently unconscious on the back of the horse. I need Two more. somebody here explained. No, no, no. Oh. Into my office first. We're not talking in the open. Oh. And he'll like lead you inside and he'll motion for two guards to go stand at the front door. And you guys will be entered into his office and he'll sit down with like a lot of stress. Also... Before you guys would have gone in, big man, please pick up the peach, the, the 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 body, and bring it inside. And I'm going to take a wild guess that the horse is the furbolg. Yeah. Nice. I'm just gonna give him finger and guns. Nod. nod. Nice one. Is there I any way you can turn back rubble. in, ma'am? I don't want to drag a horse through the center of my precinct. Shit on his floor. <laughs> Do it. <laughs> Do it, I dare you. Start eating this chair. I'll change back. Wait, are you a goat or a horse? Thank you. Ma'am, what do, what do I do? I, we floor. need to get on first name basis. <laughs> We've been... um, please come into the office. Uh, you will see him go walk behind the desk and he'll like reach down into a drawer and pull out a bottle of alcohol and a cup and goes... Do any of you want a drink? This has been a stressful day. It's a rather nice whiskey. I will accept. He'll pull out like another cup and pour all of them some. I ungracefully shoot it. Just straight down the gullet. Water? 
Do you have water? Uh. <laughs> yes. Um. Yes. I mean, we have it. It's out in the main room. So. One second, and he'll walk, the, he'll come back with fun. two cups of water. Yeah. Big man, would you like some? Apparently, holding a tiefling, but I say no. I prefer to take my drinks from those who keep their glasses clean. Oh, it's a clean glass. But that's not what I meant, Jake. But <laughs> oh. <laughs> take them very literally. Oh, it's super clean. <laughs> I just not or shakes his head politely. Still holding the tea like that. Set her down, please. Um, Drop her on the floor. Do you do hear it? <laughs> so, please, somebody here, give me a story of what happened since the two hours you've been gone and you've already come back with two of them. I think I'm gonna hold my cup up. I need a refill. Help for <laughs> help for you another bit. And I'm gonna shoot it again. Okay, can somebody without the weird mumbly voice tell me, please? This it takes too much concentration. Really, like no that? No to you, sir. But I'm gonna hold the glass up again. He just he's he's holding his hand out now, and every time you hold it up, he's pouring some. How about every time oh, you drink, the glass your voice the gets clear? Uh, wait. So this is your third drink in? Yeah. I need a con check. How about like? The more you drink, the the more you're understandable. <laughs> that is like a you are the night. you He's are just drunk. like well, this is crazy. <laughs> hey guys, I'm all of them. All of them. So you yeah, I'm gonna grab the bottle. Yeah, you are drunk, and he'll just let you have it. And he's like, big man or any of you, please just. Yeah, you're you're you're, you're fuck it. You're. Do you start trying to talk all of them or? Oh, you just drinking? Back. You're just drinking? Okay. I'm just drinking. It's been a long two hours, okay? Val sighs and... We talked to... the guildmaster... of the metalworkers. And he was cooperative. He couldn't tell us much. But he ratted out this tiefling, and I'll kind of kick her with the side of my foot. And he told us that he tried to quit, and upon doing so, was paid a visit by a handful of Central District guards. He can't tell us who, but those guards left him a note. Can I have the note? May I, may I see the note, ma'am? No. Okay. So he took this job only... under... Did you explain the kid thing? Or did you just say... No, I didn't. I, I did before. So he took... Yeah, he did mention. So he took this job under... The rest. And then tried to quit and was threatened with basically his livelihood and life. Pretty I'm much. Still not innocent, but if what he's saying is true, then I can work at least lessening his sentence, especially since he's cooperated and turned himself in. He will still be guilty of a crime, but. Aren't we all? <laughs> true words have never been said. Uh, yeah, I thought it was just gonna be like, oh, true. <laughs> the true. two thing here clearly resisted. We haven't had a chance to interrogate her ourselves. Mm. But. Sit her up in the chair, if you will. I'll prop her up in the chair, and as I'm doing so, I'll tell him about Aldam's plan to gather all the lieutenants from the Central District. Well, gather, <laughs> gathering the captains wouldn't be a problem. A call for that wouldn't be hard. Gathering the 21 lieutenants in this area would. Do you believe it stops at the lieutenants? I don't know how far up this goes, I just know that a lieutenant would be the one supplying this information, but I do know that pulling 21 lieutenants off the street would cause chaos. We'd be pulling an entire command structure of officers off the street, 
while sergeants could probably handle it, there would be no way to pull 21 lieutenants and three captains without raising alert. And if the lieutenant is amongst these, if the captain is amongst these, they will probably run in the chaos. There's not 21 lieutenants and actively. What? If they run, we know who does it or who did it. Yes, but if they run, they'd have hours ahead of us. And these are military men who are very capable at not being caught. This, I don't if know. We were Do you know to... how the Zalezo are found? No, actually, I don't. The Zalezo are commonly recruited amongst a barbaric nature. People who have proven themselves in battle many times, either in gladiatorial pits or just overall training. They're then promoted and hired to be here. That's why most of us are so good at finding criminals, is because we spent most of our life being them. Or shady to some degree. That's why we're also a formidable military force. The Crown's Guard outnumber us two to one in this city, yet they would never dare because they know we're worth three or four of them. You give to Zalezo, who never left their past behind, a chance to escape, and they can disappear. Now, not all Zalezo were bad. Some just enjoyed fighting and eventually got the job because they were so good at it, or multiple other methods of becoming us. But if these are shady guards, then they probably are ones with the shadier backgrounds. So if we were to, say, set a trap with some bait, that I could would work. assume the lieutenant would well, not show up. The people he commanded would? Very possibly. I mean, there's also other things. Can we narrow it down? If I only have to summon four or five lieutenants, that's not a big deal. If you'd like to interrogate the guildmaster and see if you can come up with the details of the guards that I, I, threatened him. I could definitely do that, but I would rather interrogate this one that hasn't been asked questions first. Yes, I don't think the guildmaster knows much. He yeah, I was gonna us. say he didn't tell us much of anything. So. Yeah, because he didn't know much. But... Uh, I can wake her, but I would like to wake her in an area that's not a guard headquarters. And I'd like you guys to do the initial questioning while I listen. She knows you. She's afraid of you. If she sees that she's brought into the, been brought into the city guard, her action might be different. that could be arranged you have a place we have a meeting room we can clear out so it's just a brick or a stone brick room and the soundproofing in there is reliable we'll see about that I'll have some men clear it out right now think of any questions you might want to ask her um This is, I mean, you're already halfway done, which is phenomenal, but I think the next two will be the harder ones to catch. Um, I think that's where we'll end it tonight, because it's 10.50, and I don't think we have enough time to do an entire, like, semi-torture session, like we did on the boat. On the boat, on the boat, on the boat. I'm on a boat, <laughs> Bless you. So is everybody good with ending it there? Is there anything you want to do? Yeah, Wait, yeah. Leave my oh. Oh, yeah. I'd like to level up. Can I please? Um, not yet. <laughs> you have to torture this woman first, and then we get a level up? Uh, you want DM to play her, or you just want to wait and be suspenseful? I'll wait, I'll wait. Wait, wait, wait. Or you can just tell us after stream and keep them in suspense. I could do that. But I'll that is where we'll end tonight. 